Hey, what's going on, y'all? Waiting for all the live streams to come up real quick. We're almost done. And we have this thing. This thing right here needs to be unboxed and put together. <laughs> so we're going to do that in today's video. We, um, we got this from Thrashio. I'm an affiliate with them and they sent that to me for free. So I figured I'd do a little unboxing of it with you guys. I could uh, answer any questions y'all might have about it and we could have a little bit of fun as we uh, put this thing together. So this right here is actually a workbench. It's made by a company called FedMax. And uh, actually, we have uh, one of their storage cabinets. If I can remember, I'll show it to you guys at the end of the stream. But uh, it is a fantastic storage cabinet, and it has really helped to kind of clean up a little bit outside. And so now, hopefully, this workbench is going to be a bench that we can use so that we can... Uh, so that we can use it outside and have all of our tools and other things uh, readily available. Uh, hey, Canadian photography, how's it going? Love from Canada, hello. <laughs> so we are live on all the social platforms right now and we are gonna see what we can do here. So it comes in this giant box right here. I'm 5'11", and this thing is just about as tall as me. So this is a good five foot box right here, I'd say. I believe the workspace is actually 61 inches. Got my Mike Vance knife right here, so we're gonna be using that to open up this bad boy. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. All right, let's see, where are we gonna start? I have no clue. This is one thing that I like about doing these, even though you know this is sponsored and an affiliate, I have no clue what's in this box. Well, I mean, I have a clue, but I don't know like, how to put it together or anything. I'm, I do these very raw, very real. I'm literally a dad just trying to get a workbench in my house, right? So let's uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, hey, we got Jenna in the house. How's it going, Jenna? How you doing? Thank you for coming and hanging out as we put together this workbench right here. Okay, we got Mike Vance. Thank you. You helped open us up. <laughs> okay. All right, this is nicely, look, check this out. Nicely packed in here. You all see that? It's got all the bubble wrap and everything that you need so that it stays protected. It looks like it's all uh, taped up and whatnot, so in case it rains on it, you don't get any of the rain, uh, you know, messing it up or anything. So that's fantastic. Let me see if I can kind of... All right, let's see, kind of tear this open a little bit. Ugh. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's see. Let me pull this down. Okay. Yes. Just like that. Get rid of this. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Good. All right. We got something here to work with. All right. I may need to bend the camera down a little bit. We'll see. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, they got it all taped up and everything, so we're going to need probably need Mike Vance again. Where are you at, Mike? <laughs> Haven't seen your live videos in a long time. Yeah, I'm trying to do more of them, mainly doing them during the day. I've been, um, I've been uh, going live on Amazon as well. If you guys don't know, I started this Amazon thing. It's uh, Amazon.com slash shop slash dad reviews, and uh, it's been fun. And it gave me kind of some inspiration to go live since Amazon does these live things now. I just figured I'd go live everywhere because it's, you know, fun and easy to do. And I can reach you guys and find y'all wherever y'all are at online. I'm coming to you. You not coming to me. <laughs> All right. So we got tape on the end there. We got tape. God, we got, we got tape going all the way across this thing. Okay. That's good though. I like I like whenever companies package up things nicely so that it doesn't get ruined during shipping. One more strip of tape right there, and we got some coming. Oh, we got along the side here. Ah, just like that. Okay, I think we got all the tape off. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? All right. 
piece of cardboard so that your edges don't get messed up. That's great. You got this. Okay. Maybe a leg. I think that's a leg right there. Let me see. Let me get everything out first. Oh, there's another one of those. So I'm going to assume that that are, is a leg right there. Let's see. Been a long time fan since even before your daughter was born. I know. I know veggies. <laughs> Uh, I didn't think I'd remember that, huh? Good old veggies. Thank you for choosing FedMax. We love your feedback. And then they give you the assembly instructions right here. It's only two pages long, really. Looks really easy to do. So let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can do this. Throw that right there. We don't need that. We'll put our instructions right here. And, oh yeah, this one does come with wheels. So these are the casters that come with it. And it also has the wrench in there that you're gonna need to be able to put it together. Look nice from inside the bag. I said, put those right there. What's this? What is this? It's a metal thing. Okay, I'm gonna get to that. Let's see. I wanna make sure we have everything that's supposed to be in here. Got the styrofoam. Let's put our trash over this way. Try and keep it semi-organized here. And then you have, okay, this, oh yeah. This is the beauty right here. This is gonna be your, uh, this is your tabletop right here. Let's see if I can, I'm just gonna lean that against the wall. You know what, let's do it like this. Whoa. It's a nice big piece of wood right there. And they even have these, uh, Corner pieces right here. These are not actually used in the uh, in the in the finished product. These are just to protect it during shipping so that the wood doesn't get banged up. So that's very nice. I like that a lot. Uh, with their FedMax uh, storage unit that I mentioned earlier, they actually did the same uh, type of thing whenever uh, they shipped that thing to us. It had all these metal things and whatnot to protect it, which I really, really like. All right, so styrofoam, styrofoam. Here's another metal corner piece right there. Throw that right there. You got the fourth metal piece, because of course squares have four corners. Throw that right there. That's, all right, let's move this. Let's get rid of all this. I think I want to keep the workbench right here, actually, too. I think this is going to be a good spot for it, for whenever it's done, unless my wife thinks otherwise, and then we'll have to change it. <laughs> El Pepe, how's it going? From Arizona. Thank you for coming in and joining us for this live stream of me putting this thing together. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Where's Mike Vance? We need Mike Vance again. All right, Mike Vance in the house. Although he's not here, where is he? Uh, he's here in, in knife spirit. If you guys don't know, a, a subscriber named Mike Vance sent me this knife. And it has been the knife that I go to now to unbox pretty much everything. And uh, so I, I, I named it after him. This is the Mike Vance knife. <laughs> Thought it'd be something just fun, something fun. He sent it to our P.O. box. We have a P.O. box where you can send us some stuff if you want to. My favorite thing was the mail song. Oh, man. The mail song is old school. Old school vlog. It's mail time. It's mail time. It's time to get the mail. Hey, look. look this is like getting the mail. I should bring back the mail time song for the dad reviews. Because we got mail. <laughs> it's assembly time. It's assembly time. It's time to assemble a workbench. Mike Vance, I need you again. Come here. Come on, man. Mike Vance, you're coming in handy today. All right. They did a really good job of packing this up so that it doesn't get messed up during shipping. Let's see. Yeah, this is definitely the leg. Right, man. Look at that. 
Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. I like the look of this. It's got kind of this rugged look to it. Can y'all see the detail on that? Yeah, it's got like this black roughness to it. I think that that's going to be super cool. All right, let me see. Let me put that back here. What do y'all think? Does this look like a nice workbench? Let me know in the comments. Hey, from Japan, how you doing? I'm live streaming on Amazon as, what is this? I'm live streaming on Amazon as well. And we got Louise Jinsley, am I saying that right? Uh, over there on Amazon. You go to, I think it's amazon.com slash live slash dad reviews. You can, you can see this uh, same thing on Amazon. Actually, it's a little bit different angle because I have to run that through my phone. What is this? I don't know what this is. Neil again. I don't know if this is, were the instructions supposed to be in here maybe? And they fell out? That's my guess. Maybe we'll put them back in. <laughs> All right, let's open up this one. What we got here? Mike Vance, where are you at? Oh, by the way, uh, somebody asked what kind of brand is the Mike Vance knife? I've actually done a video of it before, but this is a grand way knife right there. It's a nice knife. I really like it. Definitely recommend it. You need a good just pocket knife. It's got the little clip on it and everything. Easy to close. So it's a good knife. Oh, need you again. Come on, Mike. You're not done yet. <laughs> All righty. Hello. Hello. Nutscrew Gamer. How you doing? You having a good day? All right. We got this right here. It looks like, oh yeah, look. The legs are adjustable, so you can make this thing go taller or shorter. What is this little guy here, though? Oh, that's just to level it out. Okay, cool. All right, so that's that. Let's see, let's put that right there with that one. All right, that's that. That's that. Okay, we just need to get this out of the wrapper. But, you know, I don't want this to get messed up kind of rainy and whatnot today let's leave that in the wrapper and then whenever we get ready for assembly we'll uh we'll put that one in the uh on the top and we'll get it unwrapped oh our casters that's what the last thing we need to do let's see this is just stapled we don't need mike vance for just a staple here <laughs> all right so these are your casters right here you got a good wheel on there seems to be about uh two to three inches in diameter nice metal base that it's on got the big screw right there this works on a 360 super cool i like that of course you get four of them one two three and four and then they give you your tools that you need i'm assuming this is all you need i haven't read the directions yet <laughs> and Nut screw gamer doing fine today just doing my homework while listening to you well thank you for showing up and coming and hanging out i definitely appreciate that you can watch me put together this this workbench <laughs> so you get a little screw a uh, little uh, wrench right there to be able to get everything all connected and an allen wrench to be able to get all the other things connected so i'll leave that you, you guys hang on to that i'm gonna put y'all i'm gonna put it right here for you guys y'all hang on to that and whenever i need it Y'all got to remind me that it's there, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get let's get our instructions. This looks like it's going to be super simple to put together. I'm kind of excited about how simple this is, but it also looks very durable. Okay. Assembly safety. Eh, we got through that, right? Look, if y'all want to read it, y'all can read it. <laughs> All right, so... Do not climb on the unit. Let's tell that to Beckett, right? <laughs> oh, well, we might need that first. Okay, so there's not like a one, two, oh, wait, no. Okay, this is just all the parts. The first page is just your parts page. So you're going to have your two legs with the thingies, the legs that go up and down. You're going to have your back part, the back plate, and then you're going to have your piece of wood. So it's literally five things that we have to put together. This is fantastic. Okay, so we have 
thumbscrew and flange nut, which is going to be F. I didn't see any hardware in here. There's pre-installed screws, so we're going to need to do that. The wrench and the Allen wrench, you guys are hanging on to that. And then you have your casters right there. I didn't see this, this thumb screw and flange nut in a pack anywhere. There's supposed to be 12 of them. Maybe, hmm, let me check the box one more time. This is a problem. We got a problem here. Definitely not in the box. See, look, nothing falling out. <laughs> um, wouldn't be in any of this. None of that. Okay, well, maybe it's. I don't know. See, look, you got all these holes right here on this thing. Something's supposed to go. On. Are they in. Okay, let's. Look, we're gonna have to open this. That's a rock. <laughs> Is it this? Is that what they're talking about? I think that's what they're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve. They're already on the legs. They already got them pre ready for you. I'm, I'm liking this. This is nice. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what we got here. Um, first things first, let's let's do this by step by step. Install the back plate D to top to bench top C using four screws which are g and those are pre-installed okay so they must be in the wood let's go see if they're in the wood i'm not sure we're gonna have to we're gonna have to unwrap this ahead of time i thought this just kind of sat on the top at the end but apparently it doesn't Let, oh yeah 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 they're in there oh man look at that beauty right there can y'all see that it's got this beautiful high gloss right there man you almost want to like have dinner on this this piece of wood right here. This is beautiful. Ah, heavy too. Good God, it's got a good weight to it. So you're gonna have a solid bench. It ain't going anywhere. Step on that with my feet. Pull up and kick it out of the way. Boom. See, look, these are the screws that I was talking to y'all about. Ah, right there. They're already in there, and so you just have to use your Allen wrench. To tighten them up and uh, your fingers because they're not uh, they're not put in there tightly you just finger finger doing it I don't know what you call that <laughs> finger loosening instead of finger tightening <laughs> should I go ahead? I guess I should go ahead and take all these out I think I'm gonna do that just to give you guys an idea of how large they are it's not that large about the size of I don't know maybe the length of my thumbnail I would say See, I'm going to go ahead and take all those out just so that we have it ready. And another thing I want to do, I think, so I don't scratch the wood, I'm going to use the wrapper that came with it so that uh, I can put it down on the ground. Because right now we're outside and our ground here is uh, one of those, it's like a rocky ground. So I don't want to uh, mess it up. I think that'd be a good idea. Let me put all that down. Yes, nice wood grain. You like that? Nut screw. What's your name? Hang on, nut screw. Nut screw. Okay, what's your real name, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's always trying. It's always hard as someone who makes stuff on the internet to try and like remember uh, people's screen names that are just a little out there, like nut screw gamer. How am I going to remember that? <laughs> Although I got to say, whenever Jenna was here earlier, I remember her blog TV username back in the day in 2008 or so she came in as veggies. So I remember that. Maybe I'll remember you nut screw gamer. <laughs> I'll do my best. I'll do my best. All right. So, Oh, I forgot to take one screw out. All right, we got that down. That's good. Take off this last nut right there. All right, let's see. You guys are going to need to come down. If you're watching on Amazon, you're going to get a different perspective. That is our thing right there. I'm going to put Amazon down here. You guys get a little extra, little extra view. All right, so now we need the back plate. 
This is gonna go, I believe, like this. I just need a double check. Mm, got something in my mouth. That's gross. <laughs> Probably some apple. Okay. So we have our back plate, and there's four screws that go into there. Looks like it goes up. Yeah, okay, that's correct. So this needs to screw in just like this. So we're gonna do this thing is so slick. One right there, just like that. Okay, is this looking good? I think we're doing good. This one right here. And the holes on this are uh, nice and oblong. So if the machining of the nut is a little off, you have some wiggle room there, which is nice. Notice that I'm not tightening these yet. And that's because I just wanna make sure everything is in place and everything is in there good. And then once I kind of get them all down into there and settled, make sure everything's kind of correct. See, I've got a little bit of wiggle room here that I can work with. I want to keep it loose so that as I'm putting on some of the other things, um, it doesn't give me any issues. Okay, step two, install supports B and support A with the three screws, which are the G's, on each side. Okay, so now we need these guys right here. This one is B, there's a little sticker right there, B. See that, B? So B, I don't know what side. How do you know which side it goes on though? Does it matter? It's gotta matter because this, we have these right here, these. Those have to go against the back thing because there's two things right there. But do I take them off? Is that how it goes? I'm assuming. Let me see, hold on. Yes. And yes, I do need to take those off. So we're just gonna take this, unscrew it. Y'all see that? Y'all see what I'm doing here. Y'all come, y'all Amazon, come on over here. There we go. Yeah, y'all can see. All right. Uh, I can call you as uh, uh, Azriel, Azriel, that's a great name. Okay, and we also have Parwaz in the house. What's going on, Parwaz? How you doing? We're assembling a workbench right now. Taking off these right here. You'll see. Here, let me turn you guys just like that, just like that. All right. This goes up against here. And then we need these little nuts. Ah, these little nuts again. We're just gonna again finger tighten those in. We're not gonna make them super tight yet, so that I can have that little bit of wiggle room as I kind of put everything together. I'm surprised at how easy this thing is to put together. Just like that. Now, let's see. I can, yeah, that's gonna fit together perfectly. Oh, yeah. Okay, the next step, which I'm gonna go ahead and do now, is to put these guys, these long guys, uh, onto the end right here. Um, you know what? Bring you guys on down to over here, just like that. There, so these are gonna go inside these holes right here. Amazon, come on over here. Put you guys right there. How about that? You get a different look. Okay, now we're just gonna take these, slide it on through there, put the nut on the other side. We're gonna screw it tight. Yeah, this is super easy to put together. I am impressed by how simple this is. What do you guys think about this? This looks awesome. And then, see, now that this is all assembled, this is all together, flush, looking good, I can go back and tighten up all of my uh, Allen wrench nuts that are over here and on the other side of this back plate. But I want to get the other leg, legs, 
there's two, put on first. So I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys again. Amazon, say hi to the internet, and the internet, say hi to Amazon. <laughs> Let's see, let me put you guys back right here for a second. That way, Amazon, you can come on down here, I guess. All right, now, need this one. Let's go ahead and take off these. So, Jenna asks, what's the hardest thing that I've ever had to put together? Um, gosh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Me and Krista are usually really good at working together whenever we get something that we need to put together. Um... She reads the instructions and hands me what I need, and then we just kind of work together really well to be able to make it happen. So, you know, usually some of those like press board furniture type of things um, can be difficult, especially if there was something, I can't remember what it was, it may have been an old entertainment system that we had, and that, um, trying to thread this and that uh i remember having issues with it because we did something wrong and we had to like redo the entire thing that's the most frustrating part is whenever you do something wrong you know you didn't quite follow the directions 100 <laughs> percent and it uh and you and you have to restart the whole thing over because you messed up at the beginning <laughs> and i'm pretty sure that's what happened with that uh with that entertainment center, if I remember correctly. It was, so that was a long time ago. I was making videos like back in 2008, and I think that was one of them. Okay, now we're just gonna come on back. Let's come on back again, and we'll do these right here. Put you guys right there. Amazon, get front row. <laughs> All right, and we're just gonna do the exact same thing here. So we're gonna slide this through that hole. Come on. Where is it? There it is. Get it all the way through. Put the nut on the other end. Very simple, like that. Do the same thing with this side. Now, because these are all bolts and whatnot, you do want to make sure that you tighten them down. But honestly, this thing is so solidly built. I could probably finish this thing right now and be done. I could flip this thing over and just, you know, ta-da. But you guys are holding our tools, right? Well, you left them over here. I'll get them for you. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to take these tools right here. I just want to tighten up these uh, screws right up in here to make sure that this thing doesn't wobble too much. I finger tightened them pretty pretty good, so it's really just taken like a half a turn or so to really uh, get them done. Ah. Oh, the hardest thing we ever had to put together. I remember now, Amelia and Jacques' a little kitchen playset that they got one year as a gift. That thing was a beast because there were so many small little parts and whatnot. Oh, I did not like doing that one. I remember that. I did it with my mom, I think. All right, so now we're just going to tighten up these little guys right here. I don't think I finger tightened these as tight as I did the other ones. Maybe I can do it this way. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit easier. Actually, it's a little bit harder, but I don't have to keep taking it up. So there's that. Okay. Moving on down, we're just going to tighten up all these right here. See, whenever they're loose, you can really just get it into there. And then you can put it long ways if you have the room, and you can get a little extra leverage to make sure that it's really nice and tight, just like that. See this one right here? Super loose. So I'm going to put it in vertically and just twist until I get it all the way down to where I can't really do it that much anymore. Then you put it in horizontally like this. And you give it that extra little crank. 
just to make sure it's solid. This one, again, it's loose, got it tight, vertically, put the Allen wrench in, and give it that little crank. And this one right here, again, it's loose. Y'all even see that? It's way down over here. Yeah, I think y'all can. Maybe Amazon can't. Come on, Amazon. There you go. <laughs> like that. And we're going to put this one in just like that. And we're going to spin that. I didn't get that one as loose as I thought it did, or as tight as I did, thought I did. I can give it another crank. Come on. There it is. There it is. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. All right. Now, come on down to this one. Tighten this one up. Like just enough room to be able to get a full spin right there with this nut not being too much in the way. <laughs> Do this one. Ugh. Okay. That one's nice and tight. Like that. And the last one right here. Ooh, that one's already pretty tight. That's great. Make sure we got it tight this way. Oh, it's a little loose. Let's add a little bit of oomph to it, just like that. Man, this thing is looking solid. All right, now, last thing, we need our other tool, our wrench. We got our wrench now. So what we need to do now is just tighten up these guys right here. So these are super simple to do. Ah, you have your uh, knob on the other end right here that you can hold easily with your fingers. And then you just simply take your wrench and twist. Real easy. Like that. This one. Probably be easier if you had a nut driver. I used to have a good set of nut drivers, but then my kids did something with it. Dad problems whenever your kids always take your tools. Ugh. Uh. Let's see, what else we got here? Jenna says, Ikea cabinets in my brother's old house. I re... I re... I remember my dad saying they were hard to do. Ah, I, I never... Honestly, we don't have an Ikea here in town. And I've never really had to put together any Ikea stuff. So, uh, I really don't have any experience putting together their type of stuff. But... I would assume it's similar to anything that you can get anywhere else, all that press board type stuff. You know what? That's actually one thing that I really like about this bench right here is how simple this thing was to put together. I mean, we're done. This is it. We have the whole thing put together. And you know what it's not? It's not a bunch of press wood. It's not a bunch of, uh, you know, the cheap stuff. You got metal and like solid wood right here. So let's flip this thing up. Let me see, let me get let me get the y'all situated back to where I had y'all at the beginning. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready to see this thing? Well, how long does this take us to put together? What time is it? 10.07, I did a lot of talking too. So you could easily put this thing together in I would say less than 20 minutes, easily. Okay, now uh, we're gonna have to Flip this thing up. Mm, that's not too heavy. Okay. Like that. Um, didn't really think about this. Let's see if I can. I guess I can scoot it on this. Since I have it on that plastic. Another plus to putting it on this plastic right here. Once you're done with it, you can move it and won't get scraped up as much. Back. And then now, let's roll it on down, like this. Oh, I didn't do my casters. Hold on now. So I guess you have the option if you want to put the casters on or not, because it does come with adjustable feet. So if you know that you're not going to be moving this thing that much, you can just simply uh, leave it with the little feet that are on here already. It's just a little plastic piece that has a big bolt on it. Let me see. If comes all the way out. Looks like they give you about an inch or so to be able to adjust it up or down. And then 
So you can either do that to where you get it on uh, you know level ground, or like I showed you at the beginning, come with these nice casters. What do y'all think? Y'all decide. I'm gonna let y'all decide. Do I put the casters on, or do we just leave it like that? I'm trying to think. I don't plan on moving it. I don't think. <laughs> Maybe I should let Krista decide. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I, I don't know. Hmm. I'm torn on this one. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down, though, because I want to see if it's wobbly or not. So here we go. Hoo-ya! That is a beautiful bench. Yes. This is amazing. Now, see, I, I, got, I don't have anything to, I gotta, I'm gonna have to scrape it. Actually moves quite easily on those casters. Wow. This is nice, guys. Oh, I love this. You guys gotta go, I put a link below if you guys do wanna check this out. Y'all go and get y'all one of these if y'all need a nice little workman. What's nice too? Look, I got these plugs right here. They are the perfect height. <laughs> I didn't even plan for that. That's amazing. Watch, come see. So if I like want to do, oh Amazon, you're falling out everywhere. Uh oh, we got all kind of mess happening. Hang on, let me let me fix some things. Uh, I don't want iTunes right now. Okay. So look, we have uh, we have these plugs right there, and they're the kind with the little flippy do on it. It's like the perfect height. <laughs> I didn't even plan that. That's amazing. I love it. That is fantastic. All right. If you guys want to get one of these, y'all definitely go and grab y'all one. This is a great looking workbench. Easy to put together. So easy to put together. Solidly built. I mean, this thing is built out of metal and a giant piece of wood. It's not all that plastic stuff or whatever you want to call it. Um, I am really, really liking this. And I didn't even test out being able to uh, raise and lower it because they do give you the adjusters on the bottom there. And another thing that's great about this is for the kids, if they want to do something on here, this is low enough for them to be able to use as like a crafting table or something like that. Amelia, my daughter, she's been making fairy houses recently. And uh, this would be the perfect height for her to be, because she's kind of tall, but it's, it's tall enough to keep like a three-year-old off of. But she's been making fairy houses. She could put them here. She could plug in her hot glue guns right here. Easy to use, very uh, user-friendly right there. Got this nice wooden tabletop on there. And if you want to, you can bring this thing up by just simply adjusting these things down here. This thing is amazing. I am really, oh, I told you guys too, this is made by a company called FedMax. And again, thank you to them for sending this to me so that I could do this unboxing and assembly video with you guys. But there was also their cabinet over there that we put together, gosh, probably two weeks or so ago, maybe a month ago. And uh, that thing is, do you guys want to see that? Do y'all want to see the cabinet? Let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll let y'all know. I need a table for my PC setup. That's quite a nice table or bench. It's a, it's a workbench is what they uh, call it on Amazon. So, you know, you're supposed to, you know, be able to put like your miter saw and your saws and your tools and ching, 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 do some, build some things, right? But this uh, could be used as a computer table. I mean, this thing is nice enough for that. It's got the rigidity because it's all made out of just metal and wood, and it's not all that cheap cheap stuff that you find. I mean, look at that. Here, look, let me put you guys back over here so y'all can see the full effect of it. And if you're on Amazon, I'm gonna go handheld with you guys because I wanna show you guys like everything about this. The rest of the internet, y'all stay back there for a second. But look, this thing, this is all metal. This is solid metal right there. You got your nuts right here to be able to uh, uh, adjust it. You just simply pull these guys out and you can adjust this entire leg right here to make it taller if you wanted to make it taller right there. You just have to do all four legs. Has this back 
plate back here, which is also nice. I like that. And this beautiful tabletop. This is, I mean, solid wood, glossy, really beautiful finish on top. I am so impressed by this. And then, of course, you have the same thing on this side. The metal braced legs right there and your adjusters right here. Like I said, this was perfect for my uh, plugs right there. So I can do, if you wanted to use this as a computer desk, you could use it as a computer desk. <clears throat> you can put a chair under there, I bet. I bet a chair would fit under there, right? <laughs> In fact, if you wanted to you know, do, do crafting type of stuff, you could pull a chair up to there, sit down, have your hot glue gun or whatever on there, and be able to just knock it out. That is awesome. Amazement plug. Well, I'm, I mean, uh, I'm not really plugging it. I'm just showing you guys what I got in the mail. And I'm, I'm so impressed by it. I really am. Like, that is a solid... I would eat dinner on that table. <laughs> Can I put that in my living room? <laughs> in my kitchen? That would make a great kitchen island. Oh. <gasps> We might be using that as a kitchen island. I'm dead serious about it. Look, come see. I'm, let me take you guys on a field trip. Dad reviews field trip. I want to take you out to the kitchen and show you guys what our kitchen... And our, our kids have been doing cooking in the kitchen lately. Every Saturday morning, they want to cook like muffins or pancakes or something like that. And so, one, the counters are a little bit higher for them, right? So they, they, they're going to have an easier time reaching something. Now, the question is, is it going to fit all the way across this middle section here? That's what I don't know. Well, I mean, we'd have to put it this way, but then you're going to get in the way of that right there. But if we have friends over, if we have friends over, which, you know, we do, we have friends, <laughs> right? You guys are my friends. Y'all are over right now. But we could, uh, if we wanted to have dinner outside, not only as a workbench, we could use that as a table for kids to sit at. Kids could sit right there and eat their dinner. I mean, you could easily put three chairs, maybe even four chairs right in front here for the kids. One on the side here and one on the side there. If I pull it back, I could fit another four chairs back there. You can fit so many people around that thing. I'm so impressed by this. I'm loving that thing right there. I'm, you know what? Now with all these ideas, we might need to put those casters on so that we can really uh, roll that thing around, especially if we're going to be bringing it out for like uh, having people over and eating and whatnot. Oh, man. All right, Amazon. I'm going to tell you guys bye because I'm going to start up a new live stream for another package that we have. But everyone else on the internet, y'all stay right there. The Dad Reviews is going to continue. I'm just going to pull up a new Amazon feed because we're going to go live. Let me show you guys what we got next. Y'all ready? Y'all want to see what we're going to assemble next? I've got two things to assemble today and another thing to unbox. So we have that. And then we have... I'm coming. Hang on. Look. We got that. this right here. I need to put that together. So hang with me here. Amazon, I'll be right back. Let's do this. Thank y'all for watching and dad out. Y'all are like the behind the scenes. <laughs> the behind the scenes. We can chat for a second while I get the next live stream uh, going. On Amazon, I like to do my live streams, but I like to make each individual video about the particular thing that I'm talking about. And so, uh, and so I have to restart the live stream. But I figured for the rest of the internet right here, I could just, uh, I could just hang with y'all. This is like the in-between, <laughs> the commercial break, <laughs> whatever you call that, in-between. Y'all have any questions for me? Let me know. And uh, and we can we can talk. I got I got so I have just to give you guys an idea of what's coming. That, that let me grab it. Hang on, this right here. It's called. It's made by a company called Plant Theater. I can't see. There we go. Plant Theater. And last week, 
I got a chair from these guys. They make an Arion deck chair. Here, I'll, I'll show it to you guys real quick. I did a live stream about it on Amazon, but not on the rest of the internet because I just got the rest of the internet set up for this live streaming thing. But we keep it out on the front porch. And it's this guy right here. Check that out. I put that together. <laughs> and that only took like 20 minutes or so because the back and the front came all pre-assembled. So all you really had to do was put the rockers on because it's a rocking chair. Look, we're rocking together. And then um, and then you put the back, you attach the back and whatnot. Super nice chair. I really, really like this thing. So very excited to have that now. How long have you ran this channel and what's your main motivation to do these videos? So let me start off by saying I have been on the internet since 2006, like making videos on the internet. Um, and so I got started, my first video were like short films. I was into short films. I was a, a theater major in college. And so uh, I just picked up, my friend taught me how to use a camera. And I said, ooh, can you teach me how to edit? And he said, no, go get a book. <laughs> so I went and got a book and I read the thing cover to cover. And I, I saw, I figured out like how to edit on my own. And so I made these short films while I was in college and whatnot. And uh, right after college, I made a short film. You can actually buy it on Amazon. I'll let y'all go and find it. <laughs> it's an old video. Um, let's go back inside. <clears throat> and whenever, uh, whenever I got that thing done, I realized that I have no money to be able to send it to film festivals so that people could actually watch it. And so I started looking, I was, you know, I needed to make money because I was young and I started literally searching online how to make money online with video. I can specifically remember putting that into a Google search, uh, Google search page. And so I started, uh, I started, you know, just looking, what can I do? Blogging, whatever, whatever. I, that's a lot of stuff that came up back then, but I found a website. This was October 31st. 2005. This is before YouTube even existed. And whenever I uh, found this website, it's called associatedcontent.com. It was literally people being able to create videos, articles, uh, pictures, and uh, like spoken audio. And I started to, I put, I wanted to test it out. So I put one of my short films up there and they buy the video from you. And then they give you like, if so many people watched or whatever, you get a couple of cents or whatever. And so uh, I started, I uploaded a few, a short film just because I wanted to like check it out and see how it kind of worked. And I was like, okay, this is, this is actually pretty legit. And so I, uh, I was like, okay, what can I do? to where I could kind of pump out some videos. How can I get a lot of videos out there? And so I actually started back in the day doing review videos of products that I liked and whatnot. And so that's where it all began. Then 2007, I discovered YouTube, but I wasn't too sure like how it worked. I didn't see a monetization thing for it yet. And then I found another company called expotv.com and they wanted review videos. And so, and they were paying like, five dollars a video and I was like okay I can I can do some of this let's, let's make a little bit of money here that type of thing and so um then I discovered YouTube like YouTube YouTube doing silly videos and all that type of stuff so I started doing all that and then um I that's whenever I I started doing uh 2008 I was doing videos and whatnot and then uh, 2009 I started the daily vlog 2000, I did that for six years or so. And I continued to make other videos on, on the Lane Vids channel. And then uh, I got burnt out doing the daily vlog. It became like a grind for me. Uh, it's like the same thing over and over. Um, I, I just felt so repetitive. And I had all these channels. I had like four different channels. And I was like, okay, which one's doing the best? And it was the lane vids one. It's more like science experiment type of stuff. And I was like, okay, let me see if I can just kind of move everyone over to that channel. And so I told everyone on the vlog channel, hey, 
unsubscribe from this channel and go over to that channel. And that was like the worst mistake I ever made because the AI saw this huge fluctuation shift of all these people that wanted this video. And then it got mixed in with all these other people. And so the, it confused the AI. And so now both those channels are actually not doing as good as I would like them to. But in the meantime, 2017, I started the Dad Reviews channel. And I said, okay, I'm not gonna mess up this channel. And I'm just gonna do these product reviews, which I had experience doing in the past. And I realized that that's something valuable, not only for the people who are buying the, the, the products, uh, you know, who are interested in the products, but also for the companies who want their products to be seen and want them showcased. And so it was really a win-win for everyone because you got the viewer looking for information. You got the company looking for, uh, you know, the, the exposure and finding someone to talk about their stuff and giving them feedback. And then you have the, me being kind of like the middleman of being able to supply that to everybody and building a brand around that. I, I very much consider it like consumer, consumer reports. Um, it's just from a dad's perspective, everyday guy putting stuff together and all that type of stuff. So it, um, it worked out really, really well. And I'm so excited uh, for how well the channel is doing, being that I haven't messed it up yet. <laughs> and then in 2018, I have another channel where I travel with my family. It was the old vlog channel. I just kind of rebranded it and revamped it. And that now I just, I kind of do it for fun. I would love for it to become something bigger, but the dad review stuff is doing so well. Uh, I really can't take the resources that I have away from dad reviews because it's such a main revenue driver for me to keep the business going. And then the, uh, the, the, the vlog, the travel stuff is kind of more like, um, get to know me a little bit more, um, get to know the family behind the dad. Right. Um, and so that's, and, and it's uh, more of the memories of our traveling experiences that we've had as a family that I can, that I can share with other people. And on that channel, we're kind of all about, how can we help families travel more so that they can build those stronger family bonds around travel? Because that's what I did as uh, whenever I was growing up. You know, we traveled usually every summer. Um, you know, my dad had uh, a few weeks during the summer that we were able to take vacations. And it's those vacations that I really remember uh, uh, with my family. And uh, it's I think it's whenever you do those types of of travels, um, you really uh, come together as a family. You learn how to work together and uh, communicate together. And that's one thing that we really want to show to our kids. And so that's that's kind of where I'm at now. I'm doing review stuff and I'm doing, uh, doing the travel stuff. I started re-editing some old videos and throwing them up on that old Lane Vids channel. It was, it was, it was too much. I was trying to do too much, but it was fun. I took three videos and I re-edited it. That was very fun to just kind of be nostalgic on for the week that I did it for. <laughs> um, so that's, that's, that's the motivation right there. And then you also say your reviews are cool. Just like my dad would say, that's kind of what I wanted to be. I wanted to be like, a dad for those people who may not have had a dad in their life and, you know, teach them about what's good on a product, you know, why you want to buy this certain product over this product, how to put things together, all that type of stuff, what to look for in products. So hopefully that, hopefully y'all are getting a lot of value out of that whenever I, you know, create a video for you guys. What well, was my first camera on YouTube, Canadian photography. Okay. We got three, I scheduled out my live streams for this, uh, to, for today. I'm doing another one at 10.30. That's in three minutes. So I think I have time to answer this question before we put together this right here. So you guys, I would love it if y'all could share this video somehow, whether you're on Facebook or sharing it on YouTube. Uh, I would love it if you guys did that. But my first camera, I'm pretty sure I still have it. Let me see if it's in here. Actually, this would not be my first camera because I do not still have my first camera. I'll get into that story in just a minute. Let me see if that, I know I still have it because I saw it the other day. I just have to find it. 
Find out where it, oh, it's right here. It's right here. I got it. I got it. Hey, okay. Let me go sit back down and then we'll, we'll talk. That's my kind of like my cabinet that I keep stuff in. Whenever my dad passed away, uh, I inherited that. He had it down at his camp in Cocodree, Louisiana. Any of you guys know where Cocodree is? <laughs> it's a little fishing town uh, south of Homa, south of New Orleans. Y'all know where New Orleans is. Um, and so I kind of, we keep some stuff in there. But so my first, first camera, well, let me show you guys this one here. This was, this would actually technically probably be my second camera that I had for YouTube. Well, yeah, yeah, for YouTube videos. And that's uh, this thing right here. It's a flip video camera. And this is one of the first flip video cameras before they were brought out by, bought out by Cisco. It's made by a company called Pure Digital right there. And this is the one that runs on two AA batteries right there. <laughs> Some of my first videos on YouTube were created with this. I did a video about the RoboMo which is a robotic lawnmower that I had back in 2008. And uh, I made a video about it with that. It's so many videos with this little camera. I, this is a good little camera. I really like, I'm so sad whenever they stop making these. But my first, first camera, like when I was making those short videos on in college that I uh, eventually put onto YouTube, that was made, I don't know. I, I don't have a way to show it to you guys. It's called a Canon XLS. Canon XLS, I think that's what it's called. It was like one of those big honking shoulder cameras, ran on the little small mini DV tapes that you put into it. And that's what I used to create my short films. Okay, we need to get into this next unboxing right here. And we will uh, we'll continue this conversation uh, during the next break. I kind of like having these little breaks and being able to chat with you guys like this. Okay, let's see, let me go over here. We're gonna need Mike Vance. Mike Vance, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I need my stool. You guys were sitting on a stool, by the way. I don't know if y'all knew that. <laughs> we're going to do this next one inside because we have the room for it, and it's not as big as the other one, and it's just a little bit more comfortable inside. <laughs> so I'm going to put you guys down right there. Go shut this door real quick. It's getting kind of humid outside because it was raining earlier today. And I'll put you guys down right here. Well, we need to get going. We need to get going. All right, grab Amazon. If you guys want to watch on Amazon, amazon.com slash live slash dad reviews is the one. All right, so we're going to build, I don't know if y'all can see that, that little picture right there. We're going to build that right there, a little table. So let's see, we need to preview. We got to flip it. And then we got to hit go live. We ready? Here we go you guys right on up there amazon just like that squeeze it in so it doesn't fall pray it doesn't fall okay here we go ready to go live three two one hey guys what is going on we have this right here this is a uh company called plant theater right there and uh, they sent me this so that I could do this unboxing and assembly video with you guys. But this is a little Arion deck. I think I'm saying that right. Arion deck? Y'all can correct me in the comments. Arion deck hardwood table. They actually sent us their chair uh, last week, and we put that thing together. And that came out really nice, and it was super easy to do. So I'm going to, uh, maybe at the end of this video, I'll show you guys that so we can take a look at that. But... Let's get into putting this thing together. Hopefully we have enough room right here. I think we do. I need Mike Vance. Got our Mike Vance knife. right? Mike Vance hiding in the pocket right there. That's where I keep you guys. <laughs> All right, we got Nut Screwdriver Gamer still up and in here. We're going to unbox a table. That's right. Let's do it. Okay, so we got our box here. Let me go ahead and slice open all of this. Looks like they taped it up very nice, which is good to keep all the water out if it does get waterlogged in shipping. Love this knife right here. This is a fantastic knife. I use it for all my unboxing videos these days for the most part. Let's see. Pull this thing out. Let's see. Uh, Amazon, I'm going to bring you guys down a little bit. Y'all are a little too high. I don't think y'all can see. 
grab this right here. Bring you guys on down. Spread. Whoa, you fell out. You fell out, Amazon. Hang on. <laughs> All right. Oh, nope. You're falling out again. No, cancel. Ugh, dang it. This tripod. It's so tight. Okay, there we go. All right, now y'all can see a little bit better. There we go. All right. So let's pull this guy on out right like that. Oh, this is going to be super simple to put together. I don't even know if I need tools for this. <laughs> I thought this was going to be so hard. This is going to be so simple. This, this, this is it. What? I thought, I thought I'd have to assemble something. Okay, okay, let's... So, packing came in the box, and you have this uh, sheet right here. So that it doesn't rub up on anything, so it doesn't get all messed up, which is nice. I like that. Got a little uh, tie here, so we're just going to untie this, just like that. Pull this out, just like that. Now, I think this is already all put together. Yeah, look, you just you just take that out, and you do like this. Uh, what? <laughs> That's it. I'm done. <laughs> This is amazing. I love this. This is perfect. What do y'all think? Does that look good? Nice little table. You could even use this as like a little stool, maybe. I don't know how how uh, the weight of it that is, how much weight it supports. But this is great, and it's easily foldable because look, it's just this little clip right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. The wood's kind of in the way. There's this little clip right here. You just simply slide it on out of there. How do you slide it out? Hang on, let me figure it out. Uh, huh. Nope, not like that. That way, maybe. Oh, we have movement. I don't know how these things, oh, there we go. Okay, you gotta kinda pull back on this one right here. That folds up, folds up. Oh, you could take this like for a picnic in an RV, I mean, you could slide this into a little compartment in your trunk. You could just simply slide that into a trunk, have plenty of room, put a picnic basket on top, and you are good to go. Got a little table and everything. Guys, this thing is awesome. I really like this, and I bet it goes well with the chair that we have, too. It's so simple to use. You just simply fold it out, take this little bar right here, it goes underneath the clip, and just snaps into place. There's no assembly. I thought there was gonna be assembly with this. Like I'd have to put in some screws or at least put in like these little, uh, these little cams right here, or these little cams right here. No, there's none of that. It's pre-assembled. Ha, this is amazing. I love it. Building a table speed run, says Nutscrew Gamer. That's right. I love it. <laughs> Guys, if y'all want one of these, y'all gotta go and get one. Again, Plant Theater, Plant Theater, uh, Arion Deck, table. Let me show you guys the chair that goes along with this. Y'all wanna see the chair? There's a very nice chair that I put together last week. I did an Amazon live stream of it. And it was super simple. It maybe took, I can't remember, like 20, 30 minutes. I think I say in the video. Let me see, let me, let me clamp, clamp you guys back onto here. And I'm going to show you, let's go see if the, I'm curious to know if the wood matches. That's kind of the big thing for me. It's made by the same company, so I would assume that the wood would match. I'm so scared that this tripod is going to fall on me. <laughs> I think I got it. Let me go open the door. For, you know what? Maybe I can. This is tough managing two of you guys. Because you have to do Amazon from a phone. Oops. Just muted something. Okay. Here we go. I got it. I got it. Here we go. <laughs> that's the chair right there right there we're gonna we're gonna go in just a second okay let me get a stool for you guys so y'all can y'all can have a seat and then i'll have a seat and we'll check out the chair with the table put you guys nice and snug right there there we go look nice little chair right there 
table. Does it match? Does this table match? Man. I think we should fold this thing out and see how high it comes up on the chair. Because this chair is actually quite a... Uh, it's got a big bottom right here. And so, I don't know, y'all can't really see my feet that well. But my feet just barely touch the ground so that I can just simply give it a good rock. But then it picks up my feet off the floor. And so it's a very good height just to let your legs relax. I notice whenever I'm in the car or my wife's in the car and she adjusts the seat. And then I have to get back into the car. I have to adjust it up. And it's always the bottom piece that I want to bring up because I need that support uh, for my legs or else they're, they're going to get too tired. And so having uh, this thing so uh, far up and rounded makes it so much comfortable uh, while you're rocking in the chair. And then now we have this table. So that being said, these armrests come up pretty, pretty good too. I don't want to say high because it's not really like super duper high, but compared to this old chair that we have right there, you got a good three inches, two, three inches right there difference. So you'll feel that. I know I feel it. So let's see what this table has for us as far as height compared to the chair. I love how easy this thing is to put together. Really pretty. Look at that. Look at that wood. That's a really nice, like almost cabin, rustic looking type of wood right there. It's built solidly. It's planks of wood. Like it's not that particle stuff. It's a solid piece of wood on great swivels. All the screws are in there pre-assembled. I don't see any breaks in any of the wood, so it didn't come, uh, didn't get, you know, damaged in shipping or anything. Sitting this right here. Look at that. That's a perfect little table. That is a perfect little table. You could put a book on there. You could put a, a coffee cup on here, something to drink. It's the perfect height. I love it. Like, it, it's great. I am so excited. Man, we're looking good out here. We're getting fancy out here. <laughs> the small table could be used to hold some drinks while you rock. That's right. I wish I had a drink right now. So a glass of lemonade on a hot summer's day. You're outdoors. Maybe got a fan going. Enjoying the weather. <sighs> Drinking. Yeah. Totally. This could totally work. Yeah. Parker says, I didn't know Ikea made good tables. This did not come from Ikea. Not that I'm aware of. This is, uh, this was sent to me by a company called Thrashio. And they, uh, they, the, the parent company is Plant Theater. And so they sent this to me so that I could do the unbox and assembly, although the assembly really wasn't that much because it came in one piece. I, I thought I'd have to screw in something. And then uh, it's perfect. I got it on Amazon. You can find it on Amazon. I really, really like this thing. I'm so excited about this. All right, Amazon. If you guys want to watch more of the Amazon videos, I do these live ones. Amazon.com slash live slash dad reviews is where you can find all of them. I'm trying to do more. You know, come live with you guys during the day, maybe... Every Tuesday, is that going to be a thing? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but um, we're going to, the rest of the internet right here, you guys stay where you're at. We're going to come back and chat. Amazon, that's the end of this video. I have nothing else to, there's no more assembly for this. I love this thing. I think you guys should go and get one if y'all are looking for a good Arion Deck uh, chair or table to go with your chair right here. This is a fantastic one. Thank y'all for watching, and dad out. Live video ending. Live video ending. Live video ending. <laughs> that one was so simple. I thought that it was going to be more to do. <laughs> All right, now it's, it's Q&A time. Q&A time with dad. What y'all got for me? Y'all got any Qs or As? I got As, I guess. We need to see some Qs. And then we'll have another 
You know what? We could. Uh, I'm gonna do another live stream here. We're gonna add in a little extra one because that was simpler than I expected. I've been uh, learning how to play my drums again, and I have a live stream that I, I never really. That's I never even scheduled that one. We'll schedule it now. We'll do an 11:30. Showtime. We're gonna do it today at 11. 11. No, 11 o'clock. We'll actually. 11 o'clock? Should we do 11 o'clock? 11 o'clock? What time should we do it at? I'm going to be right here with you guys. Y'all don't care. <laughs> we'll do it at 11. So at 11 o'clock, we'll have a little Q&A for about another 15 minutes here. And then we'll do a little live with some, uh, I'm going to do some, I'll do my practice, some practice with you guys. How does that sound? I love that little table. That is amazing. That's going to be perfect. Man, we got all the tables. I just realized we got two tables. We did tables all over the place. <laughs> I need to change the live stream on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and whatnot, the title of it, because I'm not just assembling. Uh, I'm not just assembling that one thing anymore. <laughs> Hey, Joe, how's it going? Hey, Dad Reviews, I type in all caps because of my bad eyesight. Hey, that's cool, man. Hopefully, you get, uh, your eyesight gets better. What can we do to get better eyesight? See, that's what goes through my mind. How can I help you, right? I mean, is the Lane Vids Drums YouTube channel back on the air? No, I think that, that channel's kind of dead. I just want to... Uh, I mainly, I play my drums for, as a form of exercise for me. Cause I realize like, I don't like exercising. Like I don't like going for runs. I like hiking and traveling. So that gets me out and whatnot. But, uh, I'm not a huge fan of like, let's sit here and do some push ups or some jumping jacks and all that type of stuff. So I figured, Hey, I get to play drums. I get to listen to good music while I play. And it's, uh, it teaches me, you know, about, um, uh, math, keeping beat, time, dance, all that type of stuff, rhythm. So I, uh, it has many good back posture. That's one thing that you work with whenever you're a drummer. You always want to have good back posture. So you're standing up straight and all that type of stuff. Let me go, uh, let me get this over here real quick. Wait, where'd I put it? Oh, no. oh right there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so that's why I started to play drums again. I just like the, uh, the exercise of it. So, so what can we do about your bad ad eyesight, Joe? Don't forget to like this live stream. That's right, guys. Like it up. I'd appreciate that. I always appreciate it when you guys click that thumbs up button, that like button, wherever you're watching it. You know, I'm on... I'm on all the things right now. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on, uh, what else are we on? <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> Any of you guys do Twitch? <laughs> we do uh, uh, Twitter. We're on Twitter. I went live everywhere. So if you guys want to uh, follow me on any of those, like any of those, you know, Twitter, you do the retweet thing, whatever, whatever, however y'all are watching. I can see how some of y'all are watching on Facebook, some of y'all are watching on YouTube, y'all all over the place, all over the place, but that's okay. I got control of this chat right here and I could just boom, pop it up for you. I forgot to mention this, Corpus Christi is a good place with a great boardwalk. Also, if you want to take the kids to a baseball game, the stadium there is great and the minor league team is okay. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture recently about uh, where we want to travel to because we've been putting stickers on our tool. I should do a live stream about our tool. That's a really good idea. Um, so I have a Twitch channel, but I don't really use it. And I just kind of started using it just because it uh, works with the live streaming software that I use. Um, so you're getting the same thing. It's the same thing. But if you want to follow it over there, in case you're on Twitch and I go live, you're, you know, you'll know you see it. Um, but Corpus Christi, so we're, we're planning on going there soon. And I'm looking for cool things to do in Corpus Christi. I can't remember if I put that up on Instagram or Facebook or what.
But uh, Parker uh, gave me a few ideas of things to do. And so now we have a boardwalk. I didn't realize that they had a boardwalk. I don't think I realized. I can't remember. So I was looking through their uh, tourism board site and whatnot. Um, So very excited about that coming soon. Uh, If you guys follow our family travel channel, you guys will see that's going to like we're going soon this month. But y'all probably won't see that that vlog for a long time. Because I was on the back burner uh, with the vlogs that y'all are seeing now on the Travel Channel. And we're going through this whole national park thing. We went to 15 national parks this summer. And we have to... uh, I have to get all those edited and uploaded and whatnot. And it's just taking me forever. And then we're going to get to to the the newer stuff. But it's just... uh, It's been a uh, hard to be able to get all that go, And at the same time, this whole Amazon thing kind of exploded with Amazon videos and Amazon live streams. And since I was doing the dad reviews, I wanted to take advantage of that because I remember starting dad reviews and I said, man, if I could just put these videos on Amazon, that'd be a heck of a lot easier. And lo and behold, they go and do it, you know, four years later. <laughs> and so I took advantage of it, but I had to re-edit all those like 1000 videos or something. So that took up a good like three months of my time to be able to get all that content up there. And it was well worth doing. Um, so that's kind of where I've been. <laughs> if y'all have been wondering. So yeah, if you're on Twitch, I'm, I'm on Twitch. I've got the lane vids Twitch. I actually have a travel vlog uh, family Twitch as well. I've got two Twitches. And the reason why is because on the, the, uh, travel channel. I do uh, I do live streams every like month or so, kind of discussing how much the trip costs because I document all of our expenses as we uh, as we travel, so that hopefully I can give you guys a better idea of how much does it cost to actually get out there and do these things with your kids so that you guys can build those stronger family bonds. You know, what does it actually cost? And what are some ways that you can mitigate those costs? That's another big thing that I hopefully am uh, trying to teach you guys. And hopefully y'all are finding value from is, uh, is how much things cost so that you guys can get out there and how you can do it at less cost. Uh, you know, different ways you can hack the system, if you will. Um, dad reviews. Do you do D live? I don't know what D live is. What's D live? I need you to explain that to me, Joe. Explain to me D live. Had to drop a follow on Twitch. Didn't know you had a Twitch account. Had to follow you there. Thank you so much, Parker. I definitely appreciate that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm on there. You'll find some stuff. Not much. <laughs> You'll find this. Uh, Mike Vance here. He's in the house, right? Where's Mike? Where's Mike? I haven't seen Mike in a while. Where did Mike? Mike, where are you at? If you guys don't know, this knife right here was sent to me by Mike Vance. He's I was, he was probably a super early subscriber to the channel. And um, he just wanted to send me this as a gift for saying thank you for what I do uh, online with the dad review stuff. And I was like, oh man, a good knife. I really need a good knife for all the unboxing videos that I do. And so uh, I've dubbed this knife right here, this Grandway knife, the Mike Vance knife, which you've heard me mention it in plenty of videos before. It's a, a, a nice quality knife here. And so uh, thank you, Mike, for uh, sending this to me. And if you guys ever want to send me anything, just for whatever reason, whether it's a note just saying, thank you, Lane, for what you're doing. Or if you want to send me a package of something, maybe you're a seller of something and you want me to open it up on the channel somehow. I uh, I have a P.O. box. Uh, It's linked up in most videos, most videos below. P.O. box 82252, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70598. Uh, let's see. I can, let me see if I can put that on the screen somewhere. P.O. Box 82252 Lafayette, Louisiana 70598. Can I do that? Is this going to work? Boom! Right there. (laughs) Perfect. So if you guys ever care to send me anything for whatever reason, Uh, you can send it to that uh, address right there. And I go and check my P.O. box probably once a month or so. 
And every now and again, I get something from the P.O. Box that I think is cool, and I'll highlight on the channel for you guys. If y'all have something that y'all just want to, if y'all just want a shout out type of thing too, you know, send me a letter. Uh, you know, maybe on a live stream, I'll I'll unbox a letter, <laughs> an unenvelope. <laughs> That'll be a new one for me. An unenveloping. <laughs> we have unboxing, unbaggings, and unenvelopings. <laughs> uh, let's see, Joe. Dad reviews. It's kind. It's kind. YouTube, but more freedom than YouTube. Are you talking about Amazon? Are you talking about Twitch? I mean, I'm assuming it's it's kind of like YouTube, but more freedom than YouTube. Is I believe that what you're you're trying to say there. So, uh, I, that's what, one thing that I like about live streams is it's very uh, it's very uh, freeing to kind of do whatever you want to really like talk with you guys and get to know you guys a little bit more on that more personal level. I really, really like that about live streams. And I'm glad that I've started to do them again. I know it's not at the optimal time for a lot of people, but you know, this is the time that I have available right now because <laughs> the rest of my days are like crazy nuts. Uh, the rest of the time during the day, especially on Tuesdays. Um, I mean, your reviews... Saved me plenty of time on uncle presents. Ah, being an uncle of 10 is hard work. I didn't even think about that. Like the uncles out there. The uncles out there who need to know about these things. Right? It's like a, an, uh, you're like an almost dad. <laughs> oh, you were talking about DLive. So is DLive a website? I've never heard of DLive before. I have to look into that. Let's see. BitTorrent owns DLive and is an up-and-coming software used by people. Huh. I wonder if they're available through my streaming software that I use. I need to look into that. If you guys are interested in it, right? If you guys are interested in it, then I should definitely check it out. I would think so. Because I need to look into that. Oh, if you guys hello. are interested in it, right? That's me talking on Twitch. <laughs> uh... That's it. Let me shut all that down. It's taking up bandwidth. So yeah, I'm going to have to look into this DLive stuff. I've never heard of that before. Very interesting. <clears throat> Thank you to all you guys for being here. Definitely appreciate that. A thumbs up is always appreciated. If you guys want to smash it, whether you're on the Twitter, the Facebook, the Instagram, the... I'm not live on Instagram right now. <laughs> the YouTube. <laughs> Any of the things. And by the way... For a lot, I'm not going to say every single live stream, I do have this newsletter, and whenever I remember to send one out <laughs> about these live streams, I'll send out a newsletter like a day in, uh, in advance. So if you guys want kind of a day's notice before I go live, y'all can subscribe to the newsletter right there at lanevids.com slash newsletter to be uh, informed about what's going on with the live streams. But just to subscribe and a follow is always appreciated on whatever social network you guys use. Um, you know, it is super cool. And I'd love it if you guys send me something to the P.O. Box. I would love to do some videos, uh, you know, just highlighting you guys. I think that that would be uh, super cool. That's right, Joe. Don't forget to like the live stream. Share this out if you're on Facebook. Click that share button. Let's get some more people hanging out with us, doing the dang thing. Uh, so our next live stream on Amazon is going to be about my drum, uh, my drum pad. Let me go and get it real quick. Oh, let's see. Let me see if I can find all my drum stuff. Let's see. Got my big. Oh yeah, I got that too. Okay, so we got to go. Let's see. Got to go in here. We're gonna go back to the table. Actually, we could go outside. We might go outside. I don't know. Let's see. I got to get my thing. Actually, no, none of this, none of enemy, none of what I need is in here. <laughs> it's actually in the van because I keep a pair of sticks in the van and they have my little practice attachments that I use. And they also, I also keep my practice pad in there because I use that with, uh, whenever I go for, uh, horseback riding with Amelia. I bring my sticks and whatnot with me so I can practice there. The main place where I actually have time to do that, unless I'm editing 
a travel video. But I got it right here. Um, we'll just shut this door right here. Boom. So let me go ahead and get this live stuff set up for Amazon. I'm going to show you guys how to do a little practice. A little practice pad. I'm going to need my stool, too. Let me get all that set up really well. Uh, actually, I can just use this. Let me move this out the way. We've got to get set up. This is like the behind the scenes of the, of the live. See, I got this thing here that I need. Right there. Turn this on over here. Yeah. Turn that around. Let me clip this to here. Just like... Oh, come on, get in. Boom, got it. Okay. Ah, all right, I think this will be good. That's a pretty good height. Scoot you guys on back right there. And let's see, we're going to go live on Amazon. We, got one, we are one minute ahead of time. I like that. <laughs> let's see, we're going to go preview. We're going to flip the phone. And we're going to mount Amazon right on top of here. I should like that. Okay, now carefully we're going to push it back. <laughs> Actually, I may want to bring Amazon down because I'm going to want to show you all the practice. But I'll bring y'all down during the stream. Okay. Y'all ready? Let's go live. It's, it's 11 o'clock. Oh, not, not quite yet. We're almost there. Almost there. I guess we can go live a second early, a minute early, probably second. Oh, 11 o'clock. Never mind. Let's go live. <laughs> All right. Going live, waiting, waiting, preparing to go live. We are preparing right now. Three, two, one. Hey, Amazon, what is going on? We are live on all the things right now, and I have my practice pad right here, so I figured that I would do, uh, show you guys my, my drumming practice setup and maybe do a little bit of practice with you guys. So this is just the Evans Real Feel drum pad right here. This is the six inch version. You can actually get a seven inch version if you want something just a tad bit bigger. Or they make the 12 inch versions, which whenever I was a kid and I was practicing my uh, drums, I had the 12 inch version. I don't think it was the real feel. I think it was a Vic Firth one. I can't remember. But this one's super cool. First of all, it's got a great uh, rubber pad on the top there. I've had this thing for six months now, I wanna say. Let's see, I got it in like August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. April, eight months now. And uh, that's how much I've used it, you know, how much use it's gotten. So you can see some marks on there, right? It's gonna get marked up because you're taking a stick and you're literally beating it like that. <laughs> so this is a, a fantastic pad. If you guys are looking for a pad, uh, I went with the six inch one because I figured that it was easier to carry. And whenever I get uh, a boom stand or a tripod or anything like that, you know, you can even use like a camera tripod. It's got a little mount on the back right here. So if you wanted to mount it to where you could have it in between your legs, you know, you're on your drum throne or something like that, you could easily mount it and, and bang on it and do that thing. You know what? I'm kind of curious. Do I have my tripod? Yeah, look right here. I'm just curious. So I've got my camera right here. And the can obviously, you know, cameras always have tripods. And uh, I want to know if this tripod mount, a camera tripod mount, fits that hole. Oh, right here. So let me go ahead and take this off. Because if so, you could use, you know, you could use a regular stand, like a, a, a drum cymbal stand. Or can we use this? I have no clue. No, it's just a little bit too big. Dang it. That would have been super convenient because this thing is super portable. It uh, folds up and went, this is a totally different video for that thing right there. But um, it doesn't fit on the back of that. So you're going to have to get one with a bigger nut or get an adapter for it. Not a big deal, right? So this is awesome. It's got this uh, wood. I don't know if that's a pressed wood or if it's a solid piece of wood or what. It's very light wood, though. I like the light color of it. But it also has this uh, rim around here. 
And this is very, very important for sound dampening. Obviously, you're going to have it down onto something, right? Here, let me let me bring you guys on down real quick. Come on down. Come on down to Chinatown. Right there. Boom. And so you're going to be hitting it. And if this thing didn't have this uh, foam, I don't want to call it a gasket. It's just a foam piece right here. Then this thing um, would be making like a harder noise. Like if you were to, I don't have a piece of wood in here. But um, it would just it make up more of a, a thud sound, and, be, and it actually this would probably keeps it gives it a little bit more grip too, so it doesn't slide everywhere. Which was another issue that I had with a Gibraltar pad. I had one of those ones that you sh can strap to your leg, and uh, it was a good one because it was super small, so I could put it in my pocket, and like whenever I went to the park or was traveling or whatever, I could simply easily carry that thing along. But um, whenever I put it down on something, it didn't have enough weight, and I would go to bang on it, and it would start like slipping and sliding everywhere. Uh, it just wasn't heavy enough, and it didn't have that good of a grip to it. So that's another reason why I prefer something a little bit bigger right here with the Evans Real Field drum pad. So all in all, I mean, this is a solid drum pad. You got a nice rubber piece right here. It's just glued down here on the sides right here. So it's a rubber pad glued to the to the um, wood right there. Very simple, very very simple. Which is another another nice thing that I like uh, that I like about this thing. Hey David, how's it going? <laughs> You've been a fan of your content for a very long time, as you already know. Yes, I do. Uh, glad to see you do it in a live stream. Yeah, I figured I'd test out some live streaming here. And so, uh, and then you just have this foam pad with the nut right there on the back to be able to, um, to be able to do a little practicing right there. Now, the sticks that I use, these are the sticks that I use. It's the Vic Firth Extreme 5A drumsticks. So why are these extreme? Like what makes them fancy about extreme, right? Uh, extreme basically just means that they have a little bit more length to them. I think it's like about an inch maybe of extra stick that you get onto there. And so uh, I just like having that little bit of extra reach whenever I'm you know, playing and whatnot. And so uh, you can get just a regular five A's if you prefer. Uh, if you want something a little bit shorter, if you already have long arms, or if you like your set a little bit closer to you, or if you practice a little bit closer to you, I uh, I like the length of these. I think it just has a good length right there. Look at the bounce you get from this pad right here. That is awesome. That is a great bounce. There's a lot of uh, rubber right onto there. You just want to find a nice fulcrum right there, and that is where you want to hold your stick. Boom, 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 boom. So easy. I'm getting better. I'm not that great yet, though. <laughs> but I love these sticks. I grew up on Vic Firth whenever I was a kid uh, playing my drum set. I had a fair, pair of uh, Vic Firth sticks. I think I just had the regular 5As. They were great sticks. And then I recently discovered these little things right here. These little things are amazing because <clears throat> it's just a little, uh, like, bead tip. Uh, you could almost use it as like a protector, but it's not a protector. It's these little things right here that just slide onto the end of your drumsticks. Like people, I, I've gotten stopped so many times by people asking me, what the heck is on the end of your, you know, in, on the end of your uh, drumsticks? I've never seen that before. It's these little tips right here. And it's, as you can see, it's got a little hole in there. And there's nothing on this side. It's got a little bevel to it, a little top to it to give it that little point kind of thing. And you simply slide these onto the end of your drumsticks, just like this. Ah, slide it on in. It grasps around the end of the stick very nicely. So it kind of like overlaps it a little bit, just like that. Put this one on, same way, just kind of, kind of push and twist. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to practice your drumming on the cheap, you don't even need this anymore. You just grab these. These are made by Vader. I was doing some research because I believe it's Evans also makes these types of tips. But from what I understand from my research, these Vader ones 
are a lot better. They have a better bounce to them and they go on and off easier. And so I decided to go with these. Now, if you have any type of surface, any type of hard surface, it doesn't have to be a drum pad. You don't need this anymore. If you just wanna have your sticks, I do this a lot. I just throw them in the back pocket right here. If I could get them in. <laughs> there we go. And I walk around like this with the sticks in the back pocket. Whenever I wanna play, come up to like a bench or something that the kids wanna sit at, take them out. I can put these on there and you get a nice bounce out of these little tips right here. Look at that bounce. That is a great bounce so that you can practice your drums. That's what you want whenever you're uh, practicing. You want a decent bounce. Unless you're working on like some, uh, some muscle type stuff, then you want to get a pillow. And you want to get a pillow so that you don't get as much bounce. And it, it's kind of more of a dead hit. And that'll make you have to um, swing your arm back up. But one good thing about a practice pad is that it gives you uh, more coordination to be able to keep your sticks on the pad. Because whenever you're first learning without the tips, you may be, you know, hitting and then, whoops, you may hit down here. Oh, oh man, oh no. You know, it gives you some control. And I also like how the practice pad, due to the markings that the drumsticks are going to leave, kind of gives you an idea of where you're hitting on your practice pad. So I'm hitting right here for the most part, but I do get some out here every now and again. And it gives me a, a chance to kind of, it gives me some data basically of where I'm hitting so that I can kind of, you know, you want to focus. You want to be as, as clear as you can in the almost middle. You want to be actually off to the side just a little bit. If you guys are finding this helpful, please like this stream. Definitely appreciate that if y'all find it helpful. Uh, but these, this is what I use to practice. So, you know, I've got my sticks, I've got my tips, everything that I need right here. So you might ask, do you ever use the tips with the pad? And honestly, I usually don't. I think it's, it, one, it just gives a little bit too much bounce. And two, uh, the tips, one thing that I do not like about the tips is that they do add a little, like it's a very, very minute, small amount of weight to the edge of the tip. So you might have to adjust where your fulcrum is. So I'm going to pull it off and I can feel that weight difference. It's not much, like I said, but you will feel it, that little bit of extra pull on the stick. But it lets you have the freedom to be able to practice on any surface, really. You can do it on a wood table, a bench, a metal table, a metal wall. You know, you're, you're, the, the one thing that I use is my shoes a lot. I'll kind of sit my arm, my, my foot up like this, and I, and I bang on my shoe right here. And this gives that little bit of extra bounce that you might need whenever you're trying to practice, you know, on your shoe. But whenever I want to like sit down with my pad and kind of really knock out some paradiddles or something like that, Simply grab your sticks, take off your tips. And actually these tips also, they may make your sticks last just a little bit longer because they're not getting as many hits on whatever you're banging on because you have the little tips on there as like a little protective thing. Because these things are only like, it was, I think it was, a, it was super cheap for like a four pack of these things too. So definitely recommend... Uh, that you get some of those. Now, whenever I'm practicing, I actually uh, found some YouTube videos that I use, and I took them off of the internet and I re-edited them because they talk too much in them. And so now all I have is the video with the actual practice on there. And it's, it's a great workout. So I'm just going to demonstrate for you guys. I'll turn up the volume so y'all can hear it. Got a metronome? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, very three, easy. Four, five, six, seven, eight. To become a drummer. One, two. I mean, literally, all you need is a pair of sticks and then something to bang on. And I recommend, I got these little practice tips right here. Or you can get a practice pad if you want to have something a little bit more, you know, surface solid type of thing. But I mean, you just pick up a, a pair of sticks, throw on a YouTube, uh, you know, uh, uh, instructional video about different rudiments that you can learn. And you literally just bang on things. I love it. I usually have a metronome going sometimes. Uh, whenever I'm practicing, I recommend that. But I am doing it from my... Uh, from, I usually have my metronome on my phone through an app. But uh, my app is live streaming right now, so I cannot use my metronome. But uh, that is how... I uh, practice my drums um, whenever I'm on the go. You know, obviously, whenever I'm playing, I'm, I'm sitting down on my drum. Y'all want to see my drum set? Let me show you guys my drum set. I've done a live stream on Amazon about my drum set before. I was just sitting down playing. I was like, let me go live on Amazon, and we'll, we'll play. And so, uh, and so I went live on there and uh, just banged around for a little bit. It was fun. Yeah, you want to see it? Okay, Festino. Fastino on Amazon wants to see the drum sets. So let's go check it out. Now, I, um, we have kids, and we have uh, not a lot of room in the house, being that we have three kids. So I had to get something a little more compact. And it actually worked really well for us. I used to have a Premier XPK, and I really, really liked that. It just took up a whole bunch of room in the, uh, in the room. And so I decided to go, first time trying this out too, I got to say that. But I got a, an electric drum set. And it's super nice because I can literally pick up the entire rack and move it wherever I need it to go. And so this is the Alesis Nitro Mesh one right here. Maybe, uh, maybe in about an hour I'll come back and play some drums or something like that for you guys. I think that would be fun. But just to get, I'll turn it here. Look, I'll turn it on for just a second so y'all can see, y'all can hear. I'm getting an idea of what it's like. So uh, let's let me bring you bring it down so I can see a little bit. But did I get my stuff? I got my sticks. I also keep a different pair of sticks right here at the drum set, just so that I always have sticks with me. So I keep some at the set. I keep that other pair that I was practicing with in the car. I just put it in the door. I got a spot in the door where it just sits uh, perfectly, and uh, it just works great. So where's my sound? I need my sound right here. You gotta unplug this. I got a little Fender amp. I'm gonna do a video. I need to do a live stream about my all my drum set stuff. Y'all can't see. I want y'all to be able to see better. Y'all like that? You, you like that view? I don't think you like that view. Hang on. Let me pull this up. Bring you back. Come on down. Is that better? Oh yeah, that's better. There we go. All right. You ready, Faustino? Am I saying that right? Faustino, Faustino, where are you from? Texas, we're gonna be going to Texas later on this uh, this month. I'm in Louisiana here. So we have, uh, we have uh, neighbors, we're neighbors. <laughs> we're state neighbors. I'm gonna grab my computer and put that over here. I'm live on Amazon and everywhere else on the internet. Uh, having some fun. Let's, let's play, I'll play a little drums for y'all. I've got time. I'm going to do another live stream at 1130. 
of a, a red light therapy thing that I got. So uh, you might want to stick around and have some fun with me for that. Let's see. Joe says, cool drum set. Thanks, Joe. Glad you like it. I like it too. All right, here we go. What part of Texas are you in? If you don't mind me asking, you, you can tell me, hey, they're just too personal. Let me know. I'm in uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. Joe, where are you from? I didn't play this morning, so I don't I haven't like warmed up and I'm a little rusty and whatnot, so I may not sound that great. But I'll try. near Austin. Ah, I was in Austin in 2020. We took a little family road trip there. Austin and we went to San Marcos. We went to, uh, we went to, uh, San Antonio. We, I love, we also went to Galveston, too. We went all over uh, Texas. Central Minnesota is where Joe is from. Glad to have the Minnesotans here. Min Minnesota Minnesotians? What do, you call, what, do you, what do you call your people? Like, we're Louisianians, right? I think so. Or um, what do you call, how do you, how do you call people from Minnesota? Texans, right? Everybody knows Texans. Turn this up. Crank it up, Lane. Can y'all hear it? I'm assuming you can. Do you play drums? Faustino? Are you a drummer? Yeah, you play. Nice. What kind of set you got? Joe, do you play anything? Do you play any instruments? Minnesotans. Minnesotans. I did not know that. No, but you would. You would play. Just got to get some sticks, man. Get some sticks. Right, Faustino? So, uh, Ludwig Mahogany three-piece. Nice. I like it. Sound good? Does it come in through y'all's speakers and whatnot? I don't know. Like I can't, I, I don't have, you know, monitors for what your guys are hearing in my ears. <laughs> what kind of music do you guys like? I've been into a lot of like uh, hard rock, 
uh, metal type stuff lately. Legacy Black Oyster. Is that the type of Ludwig you have and the color? Or is that a band? <laughs> That's the type. Okay, cool. <laughs> Joe says, I play the radio. Does that count? It's coming through nice. All right. Hey, Nutscrew Gamer. I am blind about all of the music categories, but I do know EDM and I like it. Electronic dance music. I'm not a huge EDM fan. So I got a, uh, once I got this Elisa's drum set, since it's electronic, I can plug it into my computer and there's a program you can run that you can download for free called Clone Hero. And since they're not making more uh, rock bands or guitar hero games, uh, somebody decided to create free software and you can download all of the songs from the internet and put them on your computer with the software and you can basically play rock band or, or guitar hero through your computer with a full electronic drum set. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite way to practice my drums. Rock, pop, metal type. Awesome, awesome. What are y'all's favorite bands? My top five favorite bands are uh, Beck, Cake, They Might Be Giants, Dave Matthews Band, and Foo Fighters. But uh, if, if y'all don't know, the drummer for Foo Fighters actually just passed away, uh, Taylor Hawkins. So I think, well, I, I don't like to speculate about what he, people die of and all that type of stuff, especially musicians, because we all know where that can lead. But it sounds like some kind of overdose type of thing, which is so sad to see because he seemed like such a happy guy. Like a happy-go-lucky, energetic, out there, athletic uh, type of guy, you know. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we lost him. That sucks. You like music from the 1920s through the 80s? No rap, no hip hop. Man, you don't like the early 90s hip hop? <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that I, uh, if I have to listen to rap hip hop, that's the kind of stuff that I would listen to. Like MC Hammer, Too Legit to Quit, <laughs> The Young MCs, all that type. Uh... Hey, Dad Reviews. What's going on, Christina? How you doing? Just playing some drums here. But I actually am going to be doing another live stream because I have a uh, another product that I want to uh, do a video for on Amazon. But I think I'm going to come back and play my drums here in just a minute. We'll see. The rest of the internet is right here. <laughs> you know, I do a bunch of things online. So if uh, you can come and find me over there. But like I was showing y'all, this is how I practice those drums right here. You got the sticks, the Vic Firth, with the Vader practice tips on there. Those are fantastic. So that you can practice anywhere. But if you want a pad, grab yourself. It's Evan's real feel right there. Love this thing. Even as, like I was showing you at the beginning, the mount on the front right there. So you, uh, you can mount it on a cymbal stand or something like that. And Joe says, please don't forget to like the live stream. Thanks, Joe. Definitely appreciate that. Gotta love liking the live streams. If you're finding this helpful, let me know. Let me know that you find it helpful. I think I'm going to come back and do, uh, do another Amazon live stream a little bit later. But, oh, I got this. This is next. We got to unbox this. So if y'all want to find this. Y'all can find my live. Go to amazon.com slash live slash dad reviews. 
And that's where you'll find my next live stream. Let me see. I'm going to make sure Amazon.com slash live slash dad reviews. Am I live right there? Am I live? Yep, I sure am. Look, there I am right there. I see myself. I get stars. What are stars on Amazon? I don't know. I don't know what stars are. That's cool. I like stars. You can follow me on Amazon if you guys want to come and hang out with me. Uh, you know, I just review stuff from a dad's perspective. I like to play the drums. I like to try and be healthy. So that's why we got this thing right here. I was very interested in red light therapy. We're going to get to that in the next one. So thank you guys for coming here on Amazon. Like I said, go find me on the rest of the internet right here. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching and dad out. Behind the scenes. All right, guys, we got two minutes. If y'all have a question for me while we're waiting, I'm gonna put, get the next live stream ready. Those drumming videos, man, people come and see that. That's interesting. Total views on that uh, live stream was 43 on Amazon. For a guy who just started live streaming on Amazon, I'd say that's pretty good. What do y'all think? Is that pretty good? I think so. All right, we're going to do this one next. This will be interesting. 11.30? Is it 11.30 yet? Not quite. Not quite. We got one minute. Let me rotate the phone. I'm going to put you guys up here for this one. We'll try that since I'm just doing the unboxing of it. All right. Do I listen to music on the radio? Not really. I listen to... Uh, I've got YouTube music. I've uploaded all my music to YouTube music whenever you could do that back in the day. I don't know if you still can. Um, so I have all my you know CD collection and whatnot on there. But mainly, uh, I've been listening to... I found a drummer on uh, YouTube. Her name is Maytel, M-A-Y-T-E-L-L-L, -L -L, I think is the YouTube channel. And uh, she's about my age. And so she plays all the type of music that I like to listen to, <laughs> being it's hard rock metal type stuff. And uh, she's really good. She's a really good drummer. So that's what, uh, that's what I've been doing. Uh, whenever it comes to listening to music, I just put on her playlist. <laughs> All right, let's do this Amazon thing, and then we'll play. Maybe we'll play some more drums. I don't know how long this one's gonna take. Y'all ready for this? I'm late here. Time for it's late here. Time for me to go. Oh man, nut screw gamer, we're gonna miss you. I keep wanting to call you nut screwdriver. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, man. Hopefully, you can come back and have some more fun with me another day on the live stream here. Even Joe says, have a good night. So thank you guys for coming and hanging out. It's been nice speaking with you as well. Glad you got your homework done. It was awesome seeing you play drummers. Hopefully I can do some more uh, drummers, uh, drum stuff. All right, now it's time to get into this. Let me go live here on the Amazon. <clears throat> Preparing the live stream. Prepare, 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 prepare. And the countdown is about to begin. Here we go in three, two, one. Hey guys, what is going on? I have this red tonic, red light therapy, uh, what do you call this? Like a strap, like a, a thing that goes around you so you can heal yourself. And so I figured I'd do a little unboxing of this with you guys. They sent this to me so that I could check this out and do this unboxing. I've never used one of these things before, so I have no clue what it's going to be like. So let's uh, let's get into this. Let's see what we got. Maybe we'll plug it in and try it on and see what it feels like. I really don't know. We need Mike Vance, so let's get our Mike Vance knife right there. We're going to go ahead and just nicely slice this stuff right on over here and down on over here, just scoring it along there. And then we will do a little unwrap right here of what we got. What do we have here? Have you guys ever heard of red light therapy before? Let me know in the comments. I've heard of it before. Never really got a good chance to try it out. Although, I was talking to my barber about hair loss, because I don't know if y'all know this. I got a little bald spot right there. I've been trying to find ways to get rid of that. They have some hair growth. And uh, he was telling me that he has this red light lamp thing that he, whenever he's just sitting down reading, he puts on there. And he's found some, 
uh, success with that. And so can I, I wonder if I can put this on my head. You know, I've seen commercials or, or advertisements about the helmets that you can wear. So I have no clue if that's going to be similar or not. I'd be very interested to uh, test this thing out. So let me go ahead and bend you guys down for this unboxing right here. Let's see what we got in the box. Pulling it out, pulling it out. Come on, come on, box. Ugh. Come on down, come on down to Chinatown. Boop, there we go. Oh, oh, oh almost. <laughs> this is the most anticipated unboxing ever. All right, all right. Very nice quality box that they send this to you in, which I mentioned this because it's great for shipping. Whenever people are shipping things to you and you know, they're gonna get they could get moved around and beat up and whatnot. This is a very nice durable cardboard right there. Let me turn off this light in the back real quick. There we go. Um, so I, I really, really like that about it. Let's see, we got a little silica gel packet right here, so you can throw that away. You really don't need that. But what does it say? Do not oh, do not eat. <laughs> All right, we got a little card here. Y'all ready for reading? We gotta read. They're gonna make us do some work here. For cleaning, we recommend using a damp towel or wet tissue or tooth br toothbrush to clean your wrap. <gasps> Excuse me, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. And electric elect elastic strap. Make sure the device is unplugged from the power cords. From power cords, disconnected and turn off. Please clean the fabric portion of the wrap and not the LED diodes directly. Please do as the below photo guides. Do not submerge the wrap or its components in water and allow the wrap to air dry and make sure to keep it out of direct sunlight. Good to know. This is the little picture that they show you. It looks like they're taking a cloth and wiping it. Taking a cloth and wiping it. Um, on the back, please wrap the device to your body correctly as shown in the photos below. Okay, it says do not fold or bend the device as shown in the photo below. Otherwise, it may damage the wrap. Please kindly note that any product issues that arise from the incorrect usage of our products is not covered under uh, by our warranty. Okay, good to know. So this is the different ways that you can wrap it around. You can put it around your arm. You can put it around your body. I've been actually having a lot of lower back pain on the right side recently. So I'm kind of curious to see if this red light stuff is going to help uh, fix that. Um, you can put it over a shoulder, either shoulder right here, or you can get it on your back this way to get the upper back. And you can put it around your knee if you need to put it around your knee. Okay, so that's cool. Ultralight therapy wrap instruction manual. View your video guide at the website or contact us, okay? Very nice instructions. It's got color. Looks like it's uh, written well. It hasn't been, it doesn't look like it's translated. User instructions, easy to read, got nice pictures. There's some precautions on there that you might wanna take. Do not stare directly at the light. Don't treat near eyes. Uh, so I guess I can't do that on my head because don't treat near eyes. I don't know, is this far enough away? It might be, because you can do your shoulder. We'll have to test that out. Don't stare directly. Uh, do not exceed 30 minutes on one treatment area. Not intended for use by children and pregnant women. Good to know. This device is water resistant, but not waterproof. Do not submerge the wrap. From what I understand too, there's some kind of um, timer, I believe, that you can put on this, if I'm not mistaken. I thought I read that somewhere. Uh... Okay, let me, see, let me keep, keep going here. Application, we already looked at that. Some facts, FAQs. Okay, cool. Good reference material right here. I really like that, that they kind of flush out everything. Let's see, this is what it looks like. Look, can y'all see that? This looks nice. I like it. Nice presentation here. Let's see if we can grab this. How do you get it out of there? Uh, coming up, coming up. Oh, almost coming up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right. Okay, so it's like a box a box in a box. We have a box in a box here. We have a couple of boxes in this box. Look, you got this and this too. We'll get to that in just a minute. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing right here. This right here is the creme de la creme. Let's check this out. The 
Scribe Red Light Therapy Mac. Oh, what? I thought this was gonna be like a rubber, rubber type of material right here. Get, let's get rid of that. I thought this was gonna be more rubber feeling. It's not. It's like a soft material, like a like a foam. It comes like this, kind of wrapped up like that. All the way around, y'all can see it. Nice stitching all the way along the sides here. Very nice, I like that. Okay, this looks like the band so that you can uh, wrap it around, you know, different parts of your body like that to where you can get it nice and close to be able to hold it to you. Got a port right here to where you plug it in at. Then you have your button right here, turn it on. I'm assuming, I don't know if that's gonna light up or not. We'll have to plug this thing in and find out. These are all your diodes, let me move this out of the way so you can see better. All your diodes right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 times eight. Who can put that down in the comments for me? What's 15 times eight? That's how many diodes they have there. They also have a little pocket on the back here too. I guess that's good to store your uh, cord in. I'm assuming this cord that plugs in right there, you simply put that right into there. Nice elastic pocket right there. So it's got some stretchy stretchiness to it. Super cool. I'm liking that. Let's get into these other two boxes though right here. It came with two other boxes. I'm assuming one's gonna be a cord of some sort. So we have our strap. We have our light, light pad right there. Let's get into this. What's in here? Yep, okay, it's a cord. Got a couple of things here, hang on. First of all, we have this, got a USB. Can I plug this into my computer or a battery bank and take this wherever I want? <gasps> That's great for like a gym uh, type of situation in your car. You know, you can plug these things in the car. That's a great, like driving home from the gym. If you go to the gym, you can simply plug this into a thing in the car. See how long this cord is right here. It's a good four foot cord, I'd say. I'm six foot tall. Usually half your body is half your weight, your, your height. It's maybe three and a half. It's a good size. But then this, okay, this, okay. Wait, we got two different things here. This is another brick that has a power adapter to it. This just has USB with a regular adapter right there. If you want to take this on the go, you can easily get a battery bank for it and be able to power it by that. I'm assuming this is the cord that goes with the AC adapter here. Open this up, nothing else in there. Yeah, so this is the cord for the AC adapter. Let's see how long this one is. So this will actually give you a little bit of extra length too in your cord since you gotta plug it in with this power brick right here. We'll check that as well, let's see. This is the USB, let me put that to the side. This is this cord. That's a solid, I'd say five foot cord right there. So you can get real far with that and then you also have the length of this one as well. We're gonna plug this thing in, we gotta check this thing out. That's another four foot, maybe four and a half feet right there. So you're looking at what, almost 10 feet of cord whenever you put the whole thing together. That sounds great. Did that break something? I don't think so. There we go, solid, in, fits in there nicely. Okay. Um, first I wanna try you know what? No, I can't because I don't have, if you have a new MacBook Pro, you gotta get the adapter. So I gotta go find my adapter for that. But we can plug this one in to the wall. Let me find an open outlet real quick. Okay, got power to it. Is it gonna be enough to reach? Yep. Whoop. Plug in this right here. Let's see what happens. Man, it's kind of far, that brick is hanging down. Let me, let me find a lower, Closer outlet. We got one down here. Yeah, right here. Okay, here we go. So we got that plugged in. 
We're gonna plug this into here. Oh yeah, look, that turns on, that's green. I guess that means that we got good power. Lights are not on yet. Dadry is 120 red lights. Thank you, Joe, for letting me know. 120 red lights on there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna press the power button. Let's see if it turns a different color to let you know that it's powered. Okay, it doesn't, this just stays green. So the, this just lets you know that you have, power is going to it and we're, we're fully ready to go. Now, whenever you turn it on, you got red light. Look at that. Oh yeah. So what you do is you can simply wrap this around whatever part is ailing you and like this. Then you have the Velcro band right here that you can put around that. And you can get some red light therapy on your arm. It's hard to do with one hand, I will say that. You might need two people to be able to make that happen. Let me see, you know what I wanna try it on? I wanna try it since I've been having issues with my back. Right here, that's where I've been having issues. So I'm gonna do like that. Now, put this around me, like that. You got them, oh, it's like a nice warming heat right there. This is this band right here too is elastic. Bring this up. So you could, uh, you can really get it tight if you want to get it tight on there. I can feel the heat of the red lights. It feels nice, I gotta say. I'm liking it. We're gonna sit on this for a second. We'll see. We'll see how it feels. Let's, uh, Let's read a little bit more about the instructions that they have here. All right. Power rating 60 watts. Uh. Joe says he hopes it's not snake oil. I don't think this is snake oil. I've been reading a lot about this red light uh, stuff, and that's why I wanted to do this video, because I think that it has some kind of... Uh, potential here to, to really help. Okay, so I don't, it says there's a timer on it for 20 minutes here in the instructions. I don't know. It didn't have like a button for a remote, for a timer or anything like that. Let me, let me see if this thing has the timer just automatically, that'd be awesome. Because if you forget to shut this thing off and you leave it on you, that can, uh, that can actually be bad for you, too much red light. So I'm curious to know if uh, this has an automatic timer kind of built into it. I'm trying to make sure I get it on the exact spot. Okay. Put plug into the AC socket and press the power button to turn the device on or use a power bank to power the device. The suggested power bank output is equal or over five volts, two amps. Okay. Oh, I guess if you wanted to, that little pocket on the inside, you could get a small little power bank and put a power bank inside that little pocket so that you could kind of have the whole thing uh, ready for you. Distance, zero inches for best results. Place anywhere on the body you seek relief. Well, I got zero inches right there. <laughs> Select the button options. Oh, button options. Press the power button once quickly so the power button illuminates green. It may turn on automatically as soon as you plug it in. Or, or A, press the button once and all LED lights turn on. Or press again and only the red LEDs will be turned on and near infrared will be off. So this does do some infrared as well, which is supposed to also help with healing and whatnot, the infrared light. So. I got it on there. It feels nice. I got to say, I like the warmth that I'm feeling on there. I wonder that warmth is going to help to bring some extra blood flow to the area. That'd be interesting. Press again and only near infrared LED on and red LEDs off. Note that infrared light is visible to the human eye, so it may appear that the LEDs are off when it is, in fact, the infrared is on. Let me read that again. Note that infrared light is invisible, invisible to the human eye. 
So it may appear that the LEDs are off when in fact the infrared is on. Okay. Press again and all LED diodes will turn off. Okay. If you press the power button for more than three seconds, the power button illuminates blue and press the button once, all LEDs come to pulse mode. Okay, that's cool. So you can have the lights pulsing. I don't know if pulsing does anything, but that's interesting. Uh, press again and only the red LEDs come to a pulse mode. Press again and only the near infrared LEDs go into pulse mode. Press again and all the LED diodes will turn off. Okay. Usage frequency. Use device one to two times per day for at least four weeks and for a duration of 20 minutes on one treatment area before moving the device to the next treatment area. Unplug the device and store in a cool, dry area. Maintenance for cleaning, we recommend using a damp towel. We already went through that on this card right here. So plug it into the outlet or you can plug into the optional uh, battery bank. Oh yeah, look, they show that little pocket being for the uh, battery bank right there. So if you want to use a battery bank and put it in that little pocket, you can do that. That's super cool. Um, we already went through all this right here. Application, shoulder, knee, elbow, and back. Shoulder, knee, elbow, back. They have it all there. Okay, FAQ. Let's go through the FAQ while we have this thing on and kind of checking it out and feeling it out and seeing what happens. So I'm going to bring Amazon back on up to here. I'll come hang out over there for a second. There we go. Come on now. Come on. There we go. That'll, I think that'll work. Okay. How long should I use the device for? We recommend using the device one to two times per day for at least four weeks for a duration of up to 20 minutes on one treatment area before moving the device to the next treatment area. Okay. How often should I use the device for? In general, we recommend one to two times per day when targeting the same area before moving to another treatment area. We recommend keeping the wrap cool for five minutes. Also, after each session, we recommend drinking plenty of water. Interesting. Why would you need to drink water? I don't know. Do you guys know anything about that? Red light therapy and water? Which mode should I use? Okay, this depends on your goal. Okay, this is going to be interesting. If your goal is primarily to work on the skin level for skin rejuvenation, then we recommend steady light lighting. Power button illuminated green. Mode two, the second press of the power button activates mode two, which activates only the red diodes and turns off the infrared diodes. If your goal is pain relief or weight management, we recommend steady lighting. Power button illuminated green, mode one, the first press of the power button, which turns on both the red and infrared diodes. If your goal is to focus on deeper pain relief, only then recommend using steady lighting, power button illuminated green, mode three, the third press of the power button, which turns on the infrared diodes only. In general, red light penetrates at a depth of approximately 10 millimeters and infrared penetrates at a depth of approximately 40 millimeters. Very interesting. <laughs> Joe says to stay hydrated. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're going to sweat. Like, is this supposed to make you sweat? Am I sweating? No, it just feels warm. Maybe the warmth. I don't know. I don't know. That's interesting. When I'm in mode three for steady lighting, power button illuminated green, or pulse lighting, power button illuminated blue, it looks like the LEDs aren't on. Why is that? They've already discussed that. It's because mode three, steady light pulse is made to where the, only the infrared diodes of each LED are on and the red diodes are off. Since infrared light is not visible to the human spectrum, it appears as if the device is on, but it's not. If you press the power button once more so that no longer illuminating green, blue, blah, 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 powered off. It's because infrared, you can't see with the naked eye. We should all know that. Why does the power button turn green when I press it, but turns blue if I hold it for a few seconds? 
This is because there are two types of lighting, steady lighting and pulse lighting. We're not going to read their entire thing about that. Should I use the steady or pulse lighting option? Okay, the pulse lighting is better for regenerative purposes to help speed up recovery. The continuous steady lighting is better for pain relief and muscle. Very interesting. I did not know that. So this thing, I'm liking it, first of all. Just what I'm uh, seeing right here, unboxing it for the first time. I got an actual, you can read the user's manual, which is always nice. It's packaged in these nice box right here so that it doesn't get messed up during shipping, which is another plus. Um, you get a little card right here, just kind of a, like a quick reference thing if you need that. You have a nice long power cord right here for an AC brick adapter. A uh, good 10 foot cord uh, that you can use. So you can have this at the house if you have like a certain area where you like to do your recovery in, maybe uh, around the house type of thing, laying down, sitting down, at the, watching a show or something. But then you, on the go, if you wanna put this in your gym bag, you grab a power bank, you can uh, power this thing up via USB right here. If you need to travel with it, you know, you have the lamps that now are the little radios in the hotel rooms that plug in via USB. There's plenty of those. Or if you have a laptop with you, you can plug that into the laptop as like a power bank. And you could use your laptop's uh, power bank to be able to uh, get some juice to this thing. So I really like the versatility in the power options here. I also like the many different modes that come with this thing. So they have red light and infrared, steady. They have just red light, steady. They have just infrared light, steady. And then they have all those same three things with pulsing as well. So there's six different modes. And if you want to include off in there, that's the seventh mode. So you get uh, a lot of uh, versatility with this thing. I like the strap that comes with it. Not only is it good and big, so it's actually going to hold the thing onto like your the big areas of your body, your back and your shoulder. It's got a good wide span. How big is that? Let me see how big this thing is. The width. That's a solid four inches right there. So you get a nice good hold. The hook and loop really holds well. It's got nice elasticity to it. So if you really wanted to get it tight along your body, I mean, you could bring that thing really tight and like really get those lights up against your body. I like that it has the shut off on it, the 20 minute shut off as well. That's a nice feature because if you get too much red light, that could actually damage your skin. I like the elasticity of this. So you can get it tight or loose. And whenever it's not as tight, you have it more of the looser setting, it's still gonna hold in place right here. I also like that this band is actually separate from the, the lights because it takes up less space whenever you're traveling. Or if you want to lay down with it, you can just simply lay it down on the bed, lay down on it, and then uh, you won't have this big belt thing in the way. Although this is super soft right here. I wish I could feel this. It is very, very soft. Yeah, infrared like a TV remote. That's right, Joe. Um, and then I also like, I also like that it comes with that little pouch on the inside. Because that little pouch is great for many reasons. One, if you want to bring this uh, cord with you, you could bring the power adapter cord with you because it'll fit in that little pouch if you kind of roll it up and whatnot. You could fit your USB cord. This is also great too, because if you're in the car and you have a USB port in your car and you wanted to do some relief while, while you're driving home from the gym, or if you go on long road trips and your back's starting to ache and whatnot, that's probably what I'll use it for actually. We take a lot of road trips as a family. I could simply plug this thing in, plug it into here, put it on the back of the car seat and just kind of you know get some good back posture going, get that up against there. Or I could take this thing, put it on there, and I could charge it via this right here. It's perfect. A little pocket. Also, you could put the power bank in like they mentioned in the instructions. So if you wanted to carry a power bank around with you, you could do that as well. The versatility of this thing is perfect. I love it.
If you guys are looking for a good red light therapy, I can feel the heat on this thing. It's nice and warm right there. So I think the warmth is gonna help with uh, bringing some blood circulation to the area. And then the red light's gonna penetrate through the skin, like it said in the directions. The red light will go through it to 10 millimeters to, for just some skin relief. But if you wanna get deeper into the muscle, you can also turn on the infrared. This thing is cool. I'm liking it, I'm liking it a lot. Have you guys ever tried red light therapy? Let me know. This is my first time. Oh, I, wanted to, I said at the beginning of this thing, I wanted to try it on my head too, because like I said, I have that bald spot, but my, uh, my barber was telling me that he's been trying some red light stuff on his uh, hair, and he's, he thinks he's had a little bit of regrowth growing on, going on. Growing on. <laughs> So uh, I kind of want to know if I can like somehow get this on my head, but I want to, I'm letting this thing kind of go for a little bit so we can really give it a good test out. But this thing is awesome. I'm really liking this thing. I'm liking it a lot. Dad reviews, uh, uh, Joe says no. Why you say no, Joe? No, don't put it on your head. Let's see, I'm gonna, I want to take it off. Here's our lights. Do we see anything? Put that down. Doesn't seem like, okay, I see a bunch of little dots. <laughs> it's because the diodes are pressed up against your skin, so it's gonna leave some dots. So you can, that's kind of cool because you can actually see like where the diodes are, uh, where they're placed on the skin. Once you go, once you take it off, you can see exactly the area that you were targeting. That's super cool. All right, on the head. It kind of reminds me of like a tanning booth. <laughs> I know it's, well, I guess UV light. Is UV light used in tanning? I don't know. I mean, I, I could do like this, but then that might also help uh, make my ear hair grow. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> can I, maybe I can roll it up a little bit. <laughs> you have not tried red light therapy, Joe. Man. If it, uh, let's see, modern day tech says it might regrow hair on your head. I would be worried it would grow hair, unwanted hair, on my back. <laughs> That's a good point. I haven't thought about that. That's a really good point. Yeah. <laughs> the ear hair. We don't want the ear hair. <laughs> so can I like, they say you want it close to it. But then I don't want it going into my... Okay, so where do the lights actually stop at? It's right there. It's right above the ear hair. So I'd have like hair growing on the tops of my ear. <laughs> and I can't put it this way because they say not to put it in your eyes. Or maybe I can kind of do like this. Like a, almost like a crown. Come on. That would just be hard to like get in. See, if I do it this way, I could put this around like this. But I got to keep it out of my eyes. They say to keep it out of the eyes. <laughs> We're getting ridiculous here. I feel like a uh, like a, 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 a nun. <laughs> you know how they have their habit things that they put on? But my bald spots are right there. I can definitely tell that the light is getting on there. <laughs> I'm like a, a baby that's trying to grow hair. <laughs> I got my bonnet on. <laughs> getting older. I have in places I don't want and less hair where I do want. Ugh, I know. Tell me about it, right? <laughs> so this might actually work, especially if I could do something like this. I need like a band, a rubber band to put right here. A headband. I can put a headband right there. This might actually regrow some hair. And being that since I'm bringing this in right here, it'll help my uh, hair loss going on right there as well. I just need to get like something to hold this, uh, hold this down on. <laughs> this might actually work as like a makeshift uh, helmet type of thing. And because my scalp is so shiny, you can see where the light is, uh, is reflecting down on right there. Y'all see that? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Who'd have thought that uh, red light therapy could be this fun? <laughs> 
This is ridiculous, too. I love being ridiculous with you guys. <laughs> what do y'all think? Y'all think this is going to work? I don't know. I'm really curious to check out the, the timer thing on this thing. Is it going to go off in 20 minutes? <clears throat> it might. It seems to be. I can feel it heating up again. Like on my... Uh, on my scalp and whatnot. So whenever it comes to hair loss, you look like an Amish lady with a red light on her head. <laughs> hey, Parwaz, what's going on? We're trying to regrow some hair here. <laughs> so the, uh, what was I going to say? Shoot. I don't remember. How am I keeping? I'm keeping good. You don't hear that. Where are you from, Parwaz? You don't hear how you keeping. Um... Oh, look, it turned off. Has it been 20 minutes? What time is it? 12.05. I started this at about 12.30, but then there was some minutes of uh, of unboxing and whatnot. The beard looks good. Thanks. So, the timer works. That's fantastic. So, you won't be able to hurt yourself with uh, it being overstimulating. And burning yourself. Man, this thing is super cool. I really, really like this thing. Uh, and then this stuff is just elastic. That's what I wanted to check. I wanted to check how elastic this thing was. Hurrah! I can stretch that out to six feet right there. It could probably probably go a little bit further if you re really wanted to give it a good stretch. Then it rolls up nicely as well. So if you wanted to excuse me, take this with you into the gym bag, got the hiccups. Take this with you to the gym and put it in the gym bag or store it in your glove box if you want to use it in the car. Just put it away in your house somewhere. Rolls up very nicely. Simply put the hook and loop stuff. I guess I could have done it the other way. That way it actually attaches once you get to the end. Watch. Do it this way. That way the fuzzy part's on the outside and as you roll it up, Once you get to the end, you have that hook and loop at the end. Boom. Just like that. Won't come undone. However, you throw your bag around or whatever, it won't come undone. I like that. I like that a lot. Nice pad right here. They say to just don't like bend it hard, but they came like this. So I'm assuming it's okay to do something like that. And I'm pretty sure that's just to not mess up the copper and the everything that's in there connecting the diodes. You can unplug this. Let's see if this battery pack fits in that little pouch area. I think that it might. Ooh, the back actually feels a little bit better. Whenever I was bending earlier, I was kind of feeling a little pain. Yeah. You agree that the beard looks good, modern day tech. Thanks. Thanks. I'm liking it too. It's kind of a new thing that I'm doing. Y'all, if you guys don't know modern day tech, he's watching on Amazon. If y'all are wondering why he's not showing up like in the comments comments on, on all the other things. Uh, he's watching live on, on Amazon. I can't get his comments thing to come into the system that I'm using. It's kind of frustrating. Hopefully Amazon fixes that up. Okay, so we have our AC cord that fits in there nicely. I might want to try putting the power bank, or the, not the power, the, the power adapter in there first, just because it's a big giant brick. I think it'll be easier to fit the cords in around that rather than that around the cords. So, go ahead and take this out. Okay, so we have this. We have our little pouch right here. How's the Dysons? Dysons are doing great. That there. That fits into there. Look at that. Look at that. That fits nice. I think I could fit this little, the uh, uh, USB cord as well. Look, watch. Let me roll this thing on up right here. Like that. Then, I think I can fit this in. Yeah, it's going in. Ha! I got the whole shebang. And then I can put, take this, put it right there, and this prevents you from rolling it up. Like rolling it up to where it would break or anything. You could probably use this like that. Figuring things out. Look, watch. Let me undo this. I was thinking that they would have to be separate, but no. 
man, this thing makes it so easy to travel, take to the gym, anything like that. So we're going to take this and roll this up just like this, just kind of loosely. You don't have to do it too tight. On the go, red light therapy right there. That is awesome. I love it. Dude, if you guys want to check this out, go on Amazon and go and get y'all one of these. If you like, if you're interested in red light therapy type stuff, that is super cool. I am liking what I'm seeing here. Nice. Ah. Now I'm here. I'm better. All right. Glad to have you here, modern day tech. <laughs> Thanks for coming and finding me elsewhere. On Amazon, I'm going to let you guys go. And I think, I think I have another live stream planned. We'll check. If not, we're going to go play my drums because that'll be fun. Maybe I'll set up a live stream for that. But thank y'all for watching and dad out. Live video ending, ending, ending. <laughs> All right. So how are the Dysons? The Dysons are doing great, Parwaz. I'll, I'll show them to you in just a minute. Let me see how this video uh, did right here on the Amazon. Uh, not bad. We got 35 views. That's, I think that's pretty good for, um, for a person who's new to this whole Amazon live stream thing, right? Let me see if I had another one set up. Let's see. We had that one, we had that one, we had that one, that one. Nope, that's it. So I want to do another one of these. Can I copy this? Copy this live stream to reuse its products and other settings in a new stream. Copy, that's exactly what I want. Modern day uh, tech, do you play, uh, you play any instruments? I need to do some live streams on Amazon. Man, I'm just starting it. I've never really tested it out before. I did some last week for the first time. It was super fun. I like kind of connecting with the community and whatnot. And so uh, it's, it's worked out well. Let me see. I've got the Fender front man. 10G. Boom. Then we have the... You look like the dad from an 80s TV show, Family Ties. Really? Family Ties? Dad from Family Ties. Who is it? Michael Gross. I don't know, Michael. I kind of do look like I don't do the butt cut. I don't have the butt cut going on. But the, I guess with the beard and whatnot, I kind of do look like him, don't I? <laughs> no, you're musically challenged? Oh, man. You just have to learn. That's the thing. You have to you have to want to learn too, because <laughs> music definitely takes some time. I uh, I suck at drums, and I always sucked. And I decided that I would try to learn again. So after we sold, after we, we paid off a bunch of debt back in 2015, and as a part of doing that, I sold my drum set. And so uh, I'm getting back into it. Do you, do you what kind of music do you listen to, Parwaz? What kind of music do you listen to too? Big Bird Big Streams. Oh, yeah, I want to do the Alesis Nitro Mesh Pad Symbol. Oop. Y M B A L set. That one. Add that to the stream. What else do I? Oh, my uh, kick. My. Yamaha, oh shoot, XP65, is that what it's called? Kick Tower? Nope. Let me try Yamaha Kick Tower. I sing, does that count? Yes, that does count. What do you sing? You sing in the shower? <laughs> Let's see, I like it all. It depends on what I'm doing and how I'm feeling. Oh, nice, okay. Uh, give me some of your top. Give me your your top. Not like, you know, obviously everybody has more than one, but like if you had to pick something, what would it be? KP65. That would it is. That's what it is. That KP65. Let's see. And then we have the PDP. Nope. PDP. Uh, double bass pedal. 
Is that going to find it? Oh, what series do I have? I think it's a 700. 700 series. That's it. Boom shakalaka. What else? Do I have anything else on that drum set? I sing in the shower and with the radio. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> My top five favorite bands are artists. Beck, Cake, Dave Matthews Band, They Might Be Giants, and Foo Fighters. What? Let me know some of y'all's favorites. Oh, shoot. I gotta go pick up my son in 10 minutes. Um, okay, let's go do a live. We're gonna do a live stream uh, for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna go get my son. <laughs> y'all aren't gonna come for that. But, super fun. This has been fun. I like live streaming. kind of miss it. I used to do it all the time. And there's the drum set. Let's play. I need to add a thumbnail image. Oh, I had to have one from last time. Oh gosh, I don't know where it is though. Too many thumbnails. Last week. Oh, oh, there it is. Got it. Got it. Y'all want to see the drums or y'all want to see my face? Canadian photography is back. What's going on, Canadian photography? How you been? All right, let's see. Let me choose this. Let me start the Amazon thing. Uh, we're just going to do this now. We're going to rotate. And we are going to go live for just a few minutes here. Welcome back. I like Guns N' Roses and Whitesnake. Man, that's some good stuff right there. I like that too. Let's see, Amazon. Where am I going? Where did I go? Right there, right there. All right, Amazon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's play some drums for a little bit. Where did I have you guys last time? I don't remember. All right. So, my wife is a huge Dave Matthews fan. Man, I've liked them since their first album back in the 90s. Their drummer is super good, too, in my opinion. I think he's super good. Carter Buford, he's got some skills. Have you ever seen him in concert? Hey, Modern Day Tech, can I get your first name? Van Halen, Queen, go ahead and jump. <laughs> She's a VIP member, so she takes me to a bunch of them. Oh, nice. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm not... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not that hardcore, Eric. By the way, nice to meet you. Glad you came to the stream today. What other type of music do you like? Eric, what other type of music do you like? We got Joe, we got Eric, we got Canadian Photography. What's your first name? I like, no, I like knowing y'all on a first name basis here. One thing about the electric drum set is that uh, it's so small and close. Like, you know, usually you'd have a big floor tom right here, but it's just a little pad. And so you think you have all this room to bang, and then you start banging your sticks together because it's just a little closer. It's actually probably good um, just to, for control to learn, I think, on, on an on a electric drum set. Eric the Bike Man. <laughs> Ed Sharon is up there. Oh, I like some Ed Sharon. He's good. Eric the Bike Man is a bike store. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. That's great. Hey, Amazon, what's going on? 
Let me know what some of y'all's favorite music is. I've really been getting into a lot of hard rock lately. I found uh, uh, this drummer girl on, on YouTube, and she plays a lot of like hard rock, heavy metal type stuff. So I've gotten back into that. Whenever I was in like high school, grade school, um, I had a friend who was really into like Tool and uh, Pantera, uh, Metallica. I saw Metallica in concert way back when. And so um, ever since I got back into drumming, like whenever it comes to drumming, the hard rocking type of people are the ones that, uh, you know, really perform well. I mean, there's some jazz guys out there who are really good and fast and whatnot, very precise. Uh, the pop stuff, there can be some good uh, drummers out there, but I find like the hard rocking ones are like on point. Linkin Park, yeah, like me some Linkin Park. They're good. Sublime, yeah, man, going, taking it back to the 90s, huh? How about, uh, how about, uh, oh, shoot, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers? Glenn Miller? I don't know Glenn Miller. Who's Glenn Miller, Joe? Teach me about him. What type of music does he play? What era is he from? The Beatles, Canadian photography coming out with the Beatles. Yeah, I like the Beatles. Actually, okay, so on my uh, thing that I play drums with on my computer, uh, it's like a rock band knockoff type of thing. Um, there's a bunch of, there's Beatles songs on there. And man, that drummer, uh, Ringo Starr, he plays like the weirdest, it's not beats. It's just, it, I mean, it's beats, but it's like just kind of like, right you know just like it's not like a steady beat or anything like that it's just kind of like let me hit this and then let me hit that type of thing uh, it's been really hard for me to like try to play their songs oh a big band like some swing type stuff ha <laughs> ha Man, I can't believe I still remember that. That was one of the, as I was taking drum lessons as a kid, that was kind of like one of the last things that I was kind of learning was like swing beat type stuff. So that's a very basic beat right there. Ah, like I said, I'm pretty rusty. Looks like an awesome set of drums. It is modern day tech. Eric <laughs> over on the Amazon. Brought it back to the Amazon. I like that. Johnny Cash. Yeah. Actually, I have a really hard time playing Johnny Cash songs because he does a lot of like a shuffle type of thing. And I just cannot get down the shuffle. Like I can do the jazz. That type of stuff. Um, I can do the shuffle, uh, the the jazz. It's just ding to ding, to, ding to ding, ding to ding, ding to ding. But whenever it comes to Johnny Cash stuff, you do more of a shuffle. A shuffle is more like da ding 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 da ding. And it's just it's for whatever reason that is really hard for me to keep time with. Yeah, had to check out the set. It's not a bad price either. No, it's not for a complete drum set and whatnot. Well, so you have the set, which you get three cymbals, three pads, no, four pads, including the snare, three tom pads and the snare. And then of course you get the rack and the controller and the foot pedals for the bass and the, uh, the hi-hat. So you get all that. And then if you want, there's the add-on package that you can get which is, I'll put up a thing for it on Amazon here. This is the add-on package, and you get this symbol right here, which just plugs into the back of the control module, and then you have another tom. It's 
So it works really well with the add-ons. I really like the add-ons. Now, I, like I said, play more of like the rock, uh, hard rock type stuff. And I really wanted to get better at using a double pedal. But the kick tower that comes with this set does not work well with the double pedal. So I bought this, uh, I bought a PDP double pedal. Uh, let's see, this Pacific drum. Uh, double pedal right here. It's this one right here. Look, I'll bring you guys on down. If you want to go watch on Amazon, amazon.com slash live slash dad reviews. But it's uh, this right here. This is one side right there. You can see the two beaters. And then this side, you have the other one right there. And so you can put one foot there and it's going to control that beater. And this one controls this beater. So I got the pedal there. But like I said, the kick tower that comes with it is the one that comes with the Alesis. It doesn't support a good double pedal. And so I bought the uh, Yamaha KP65. And that one works great with a double pedal. It's firing every single time, which is what you want. And so uh, that has been great. And then the sticks that I use, are, I, I did get the little bit longer ones. It's the Vic Firth uh, Extremes. They're a little bit longer. That's what the extreme uh, means. And then as far as what you're hearing, it's just coming from this tiny amp right here. This is a Fender Frontman. The Fender Frontman. Um, here, let me pick it up so you can see it a little bit better. Ah, it's super small. Has a little candle right there so you can pick it up real easily. It's got all the controllers and whatnot. But the cool thing is that it's got this little headphone jack right there. So if you want to run your headphones through there, you can do that to silence it and then... Uh, and then you're, uh, you're, you know, somebody else is in the house. They don't have to listen to it, but you don't have to reroute all your cords and everything. Fantastic little, uh, little amp right there. And it works great with the electronic drum set. So if you're interested in playing drums, man, I can definitely recommend this, uh, Alesis Nitro set right here. I got it back in August and, uh, it is amazing. Mike Vance in the house. We got the, the Mike Vance. I don't even have my knife on me right now. What time is it? Oh, I got five minutes, y'all. I got five minutes. And then I got to go get uh, Beckett at the, at the uh, school. I would love a set, but it would probably end up in the basement storage like my guitar and amp. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got to want to play it. That's what I said from the beginning, right? You got to want to play it. But what, what does it for me? Let me show you all this with the five minutes that we have. What... What did it for me was whenever I found this right here. This is Clone Hero. It's basically Rock Band on my computer. And I can connect via this USB wire right here, going into there, to the computer, and we have Clone Hero. I just want to take this computer speaker. It doesn't work well anymore. It's my old laptop. So I'm going to plug that into that fender right there. So I get sound. Turn it down just a little bit. And just so y'all can watch for just a second, I can control this. Let me log in. Lane vids. And I can control this with the drum set. And so, um, I don't know. What should we play? We got four minutes. What should we play? Let's see. We'll do one of my best ones. Do it by percentage. And then I can sort by come on go to the top go to the top go to the top oh. right there a little beck song there a little tom petty a little green day a little mr big let's see if we can do farewell ride so this is how i play this is me playing with this clone hero let me turn it up Ta-da! That's it. That's so cool. I know. I know I don't want to be late. <laughs> I kept looking at the time, and that's why I kept messing up. So Green Day. Green Day is great. Yeah, I love me some Green Day. Um, but yeah, that is how Yeah, I got a 96%. And I was like just trying to sing. I was trying to play and whatnot. <laughs> looking at the time. <laughs> all right, Amazon. Thank you all for coming, hanging out doing the dang thing, shut that, grab this, don't want to be late, school is usually pretty lenient, which is nice, but if you guys want a great drum set, I can definitely recommend that Alesis Nitro Mesh, yeah, it is, I was talking about that earlier, 
Like you get a little bit of a workout from playing the drums. That's the main reason why I've been doing it lately. So, all right, I'm going to go. Thank you for coming. It's nice meeting you, Eric. Definitely appreciate you coming and hanging out. And uh, love the, for the love of reading, hi, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry we didn't get to talk much, but I got to go pick up my son. Thank y'all for watching, and I'm dad out. All right, y'all. I got to go. <laughs> so uh, thank y'all for coming. I appreciate it. I really would love to stay and answer some of the questions that you guys left. Mike Vance, you got a huge uh, bunch of love because we unboxed some stuff using the knife. Appreciate that. And uh, appreciate you coming and hanging out. You may want to go and watch the replay. God, this is a three hour long live stream. What in the world? All right. I'm going to go. Thank y'all. I always appreciate you guys. Appreciate any super chats y'all have given. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out and giving me your time, your attention. I appreciate um, if you've ever brought, bought anything through a product link, through an affiliate link, uh, or just even you coming and hanging out with me and letting YouTube know that, hey, I like this guy and this guy's content. I'm going to give him a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Uh, I really do appreciate that so much, uh, more than you guys even realize, I think. And as I said earlier in the stream, if you guys do ever want to send me something, whether it's a letter or something in the mail that you want me to just unbox on the channel, you want to shout out or whatever, if you have a company and you have a product that you want me to check out, uh, that's the P.O. box right there. You can send it to me. Uh, other than that, subscribe and follow if you, if you like our stuff here. And uh, I'll see you guys maybe next Tuesday. This might become a thing where it's like every Tuesday, I just do a live stream with you guys. How do y'all feel about that? I started at like 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> Super early. Who wants to get up early? <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Dad out.